I should do it. So, I want us to just go right to this long. when we do now. Like both before we even get anywhere, let's just both share. Even if you lose some, you lose some time there. Or well, that's always tough because I always feel so awkward in the beginning. I know, but like especially when we got just us two, we can really do this. There we go. We got pour up a little test pour. Well, right now, if you're uh, the sommeliers joining us, <laughs> rate my technique, if you will. <laughs> Somalians, dude. There you go. Look at it. See that? A little bit of um, a little aerating in it. Dude, what do Somalians have to do with wine? Hold that up to the. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you ask the Somalians? <laughs> 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 I have you know most of our viewership is Somali based, okay? Okay, okay I'm catering I'm insight. catering to our major audience right now. I'm catering I'm ca Bro, I am actually surprised, bro. I've seen some like we got some yes, countries sir. up there. We got some countries up there, that's all I know. We got some viewership and and, and bro, oh, I, I clipped it, I gotta send it to you, bro. Kendall Berryman. You know our boy? Mm -hmm. So one day I was clipping stuff and I went to our YouTube page and I noticed he was live because you get notified for that stuff. Kendall Berryman, longtime follower. <laughs> um and he was live, so I, I tuned in real quick just to uh, see what he was talking about. He's just doing like a little live chat thing, talking about UFC and stuff. So I pop in as the shit show. I'm just like, hey, what's up, dude? They're just, they're just like sending love or something. And then like a, a second goes by, and he's just like, oh, the shit show, man. Yo, these fellas, I got to send you the clip, because I clipped it real quick just so I can show you. Oh, he's yeah. like, man, these fellas, these fellas, funny as shit, check them out. Like, it was just cool for a second. Oh, just to stop yeah. by. And, he, and I saw who Kendall was. He lives in London, dude. <laughs> he's... This guy Kendall just lives in London. He's just Shout chilling. Out to Shout out to Kendall. Long, long time listener. Long time listener from England. We appreciate you, Kendall. <laughs> well, now I always have to upload these to YouTube too, though. Have yeah. You really yeah, I haven't. No, I haven't uploaded them. I downloaded oh, them. Immediately, just dropped them in. All the shorts Damn. I've done, I've dropped them into there. But just the yeah. shorts, not the so cast. Upload just all those videos. Mm -hmm. Even yep. if you do them all at the same time. Yeah. Just yeah. Them. Just gotta download them and then just like but put them all through. Have to try to sync it up. I never even found out. Also trying to find a way with Streamlabs and maybe like streaming both of them at the same time. We always talk about it, but I, I, I got seen that program. I seen I seen a program that does, does it. it. But I remember like I remember I, like we talked about it, like long ago, and I think this is everything. But in it's, well, in it's a uh, like a little user agreement type of thing. Like it, it asks for permission to like make changes to your account and shit like that. I remember just like that's, what, that's so iffy. Like why? Like I'm guessing because they could probably ban your content too or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what that, what that, how that would work, but yeah, it says shit like that. I remember just like, what? I'm sure we could pay something and just go live on all these different things. Yeah, because they can't just allow anything. Yeah, because right. I mean, like, it like it would be nice just to have like a kind of like a central focal point for our lives, though. You know, like yeah, and if that's just what it is. Then we know what we need to be trying to invent. Yeah, right. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I was thinking shit like like Twitch. I don't know, like do you do a live cast like that on Twitch? Like that seems I want weird. Something to get you on Twitch, YouTube, but Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All Every of live it. You can all go of to it. That one. The Tune Core. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Distro Kid. <laughs> fucking the live distro. podcast. I mean, I think uh, I think that's what Maybe like. Be posting that shit on Distro Kid. I wonder if you put podcasts up there. I know, like, uh, there's like, like Buzz, Buzz Sprout or something. There's podcast stuff that like helps you distribute, but like that. But you know, uh, cheers, little menage a trois. It's <laughs> <laughs> all over the place with these wines. Somalia, menage a trois. <laughs> that says, bro, you got brought some menage a trois wine. Wow. You don't know what you bought. <laughs> no, I just gave Merlot. And then it said California. I was like, you know what? Merlot you look, kind of, you, look, yeah. you know it's like where it's at. It's like lower medium tier of wine. Yeah, I mean this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I bro, okay. I had I had uh, I told you I went to a meat tasting, bro. That honey wine. It's fermented honey. That oh shit that shit's lit, dude. <laughs> mead <laughs> <laughs> What'd you thought? <laughs> How were the guys? <laughs> I said meat. No, <laughs> mead tasting, bro. That yeah. honey wine. It's just, it's just honey wine, dude. And once they said that, like, you really taste that honey. Like, you don't taste grapes in this, or do you? No, no. It's all. I might bloody, have a shit though. palate. If you were there, though, if I took you to the goddamn winery and poured you some shit, I could probably give you goddamn cool light. You'd say it tastes like. You ever talked to a sommelier? Wine. I believe they go to. Uh, you ever talked to one? Somalian dude. A Somali, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think you probably talked to a sommelier. A Somalian sommelier. <laughs> well, what does this stand for? I don't know. No, no. So, so sommelier is just a he's a wine expert. Hmm. He's a wine expert. Oh, that's what. Name. So you um, like I think it's a yeah, I think it's like some yeah. type of European name and whatnot. You got. I worked at a place like you go to school for it. You get a degree for it to become like a sommelier type of deal. Mm. 
And they, I mean, they sit there. They're the guys. They tell you what notes you're looking for. I've heard some dumbass shit, bro. Notes of like leather, rust. I'm like, just tell me your wine tastes shitty. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, who the fuck? Yeah, forest floor. I've heard before too, bro. Like, what are you describing? <laughs> I, mean, I guess you're running out of names. <laughs> what are bro? you tasting? Oh, I imagine it's like a. I imagine you, Somali. Like, Somali is like a rapper. Like you got to find a new way to say something, a little abstract. Bro, come out whatever rap name you want. But Go also, try to make it. Somebody already did it. Are you going to dispute him and be like, I don't taste forest, forest floor, dude? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I don't fuck that. You give so, no so much off the wall shit that like you can't even like contest it. You're just like, <laughs> like okay, um, you can taste wine. How's your? How, can you taste chocolate milk? You know, I, I let's let's run some chocolate milk and really see how that palate is. Yeah. I'll tell you what some good chocolate milk is. <laughs> you know, you're, you're one, you're a one way man. You're good at the wines. Okay, if this is say I gave you the wine dub, chocolate milk, <laughs> sweet teas. I left it to the guys. Shakes. You see that shit recently where um, it's like it's just like everything. It's everything. It doesn't even seem like a like a news story anymore. But like they were talking about like dark chocolates and like of like twenty three brands like. All these heavy metals in it, and then you read it, and then it's like, oh, none of these ever passed like the level of which we already set. But you need to know. It was just like, man, this is the most clickbaity shit I've ever fucking seen. It's literally just like dark chocolate contains hazardous heavy metals, and then you read the article. It's like, well, it, if you don't eat dark chocolate like a pound a day, then you're good. <laughs> right, right. That should be criminal. But um. That should be criminal. Okay, well, I would say that I, I disagree a little. I say like. I mean, to me, okay, here's the problem, right, is that you're already agreeing. We all know, we know these things. You know that something's in that chocolate bar that's mass-produced that's bad for you every single time, just like anything that you consume that's mass-produced, right? You know it. But how many times do you really know what it is that's bad for you in it? Is it really that bad? Why don't we promote it more? Why isn't that on your gas station screens? Why don't yeah. we show you what's bad in all of the things that you're getting, right? Instead, this is like a secret. We all know it, but nobody ever exposes it of being like, oh, that's that's what's in here. That's exactly what's well, in here. Nobody knows. Well, that's the thing. Like the it's when you read the article, they're just like, yeah, well, like at you, there the levels are not in any way, shape, or form enough to ever cause any damage. It's always the same thing whenever it has a news article like that. Oh, lead levels found in carrots. You eat them, it's very minuscule in the any bit, like, because, like, we, we all go and we have, like, those, I remember what the article outlined was MADLs, which was the maximum amount dosage level, which is, like, what we deem safe for consumption in, like, small amounts. So, like, they're saying that, like, the amount in it is so minute, but this is the question, though. Where is cadmium coming from near chocolate? All these natural – that's the thing. Like, they, they never talk about is that a natural byproduct of dark chocolate production? Is it some type of preservative added in that has cadmium in it? You know, like that's always right. a question left I, I, the to be answered. The specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what I'm saying. Same thing. Like you know that something's going on there, but you don't know where it's at. You don't know what it is, and, and you're not sure. So, so it's like I like that maybe they're reminding people that we know that it's the, the same thing you're saying about that chocolate and those carrots is the same thing they say about your drinking water. They yeah. know there's cocaine in it, heroin in it, goddamn opiates, that no K, you know what I mean? Every special K in that shit, water, shit and piss. They know, but they're saying it at a healthy level, just like they say with anything. Like you know, it's said time and time before America, one of two countries, really the only country if you really look at the laws, really the only country that allows these pharmaceutical places to even be able to advertise. And you go, I'm telling anybody, bro, go watch Hulu. Anybody with Hulu, this bitch gonna move. Anybody with Hulu, go watch Hulu, bro. Every single fucking advertisement. I swear to God, Steve, like it's crazy. I'm gonna make a video. 95% plus. On Hulu? Hulu? On Hulu. Is medical. Yeah, fuck you, Hulu. Is pharmaceutical company drugs advertisements. I swear to God, anybody can can go take a look their self. I've never seen nothing like it, bro. There is more on Hulu than there is on TV. It is every single break almost is a pharmaceutical company advertisement. It's you, crazy. You fuck got, you, Hulu. You got to attack where the eyes are. You got to attack where the bro, eyes are. Nobody else does that. There's there's a lot of shit that pauses you midway and shows. Oh, you got you Netflix? Something. No, no farm. Nothing, different, like, bro. No, if it is, it's no. It way. just, like, it it's just seems Hulu. 
Hulu. Stop just the way has Hulu. sold their soul. Sold their soul, bro. They just wrote, wrote that deal. I'm sure that check was fat. Because I mean, like that's the that's the thing with streaming. I mean, like it's really it's the monetization of of like it's it's people who are it, it, it's funny because like it adds a whole new kind of like level to uh, paying attention. Like this is what you're. This is what people like. It, I just can't. I just need to get in front of your eyes, and that's enough. That's that's what. See, I, I just need to impl- I just need ten seconds to implant this thought in your head. I'm gonna use <laughs> a superhero movie you're watching to get you to use. Arthritis cream. I'm just hoping. Think about that. I'm hoping one out of ten you motherfuckers buy. I hope God something damn. sticks in this goddamn motherfucker for you to buy, because that, that's where people. I mean, I think if you were to look at like statistics, now of course people go to sleep, leave their shit on, but I think if you're looking at like streaming t- statistics, I think people end up watching, including like with like phone usage, end up looking like, ten think hours think a day, bro. Ten hours a day plus with their streaming phones, think, all that, bro. Think about this, right? Do you see that company? Where they give away their water for free. It's I think it's yeah. really called free water, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they say that they're able to do that because the advertising that they sell in the bottles on the bottle is enough to pay for the bottle, right? So how much do you think on a Hulu pharmaceutical commercial? How much clean water? Let's just say water, for example, because of that in bottles could they provide to places without water? With one commercial, it costs them. Mm-hmm. If they can literally give you free water for the price of advertisement, yeah, what the irony? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's so it, it we're in this whole kind of like backwards thing. Like literally, it is cheaper. People have done the math. It's cheaper to gather some raw materials here, no matter what the size. You put them on a fucking big ass boat for three months. You send it to China. They refine the parts. You ship it back here, assemble, and there's your ad market cost, bro. Like, it's so, it's just ridiculous. You and, put it on a fucking and, boat. And here, you've outlawed child labor, right? And, you, and you've and you unionized labor. You've controlled it. You've made it somewhat civil. You're willing to allow us to ship it over to a spot that you know doesn't abide by any of those rules you created. And then ship it back to you to be sold for, for profit. How does this – the irony, bro. Let's, just listen to how hypocritical it is. Like, oh, it, it's the, crazy. Man. The iPhone is manufactured. Its parts, before it becomes one single iPhone, is over like 15 different countries that all make their individual part. Whatever the price may be, one location assembled, ship the market. It's, it's like 14, 15 fucking countries, bro. It is – it's – this is literally the same ca- like evolution and efficiency that capitalism has brought us. We're now just being crippled by what the profit numbers say, Dude, what they tell us. Telling people, oh, yeah, I'm really glad we got into this. this is, it's kind of what I've been thinking about, man. I'm like, <sighs> it's so much that goes into the topic, right? But for, I guess I will start off by saying, bro, I think a lot of like I'm convinced, okay. I'm convinced that everyone is lying, or they're dumb. I I can't get past it's one of those two, right? And not saying I've got it figured out. Everybody's dumb, right? I'm saying us, right? Us is we're either every day, every day, right? You're either so unself aware, non self aware, whatever, whatever that is, or negligent of what your surroundings are, right? That you're dumb. You're literally so dumb, you don't even realize the hamster wheel. You can't even process it. Or you wake up every day knowing that shit's in that chocolate, that shit's in that water, and you drink it, and you eat it. So not these people. Us, we're either dumb, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> or, or, or we've just completely, completely accepted that we know what it is, mm-hmm. yeah. and we're and we're done even trying to make it a different. We we don't even know what different looks like, bro. And if you did see it, you're gonna stand up to stop it. Yeah, you know, and that's like that's one of the the things that like seems ever transparent is that you know, behind the scenes, you know, there's always there's always evil shit working too. 
There's always evil shit, but there's there's a few amount of good that really go out and fight those battles. They go they go to a, a, a lobbying meeting in Congress. You know, you do have grassroots movements for people to try and start something and change it, but it's the it's the rolling of like getting because for real action you need you need masses. Whatever you can say, bro, I'll explain to you how it's corrupt. So you mm-hmm. want to bring up something about people going to those rooms and shit like that, like. Do you understand how deep this shit goes, man? Yeah, but right? you don't. So you're but, about, but let's just say, like, I think there's like certain things that people don't understand, right? Like, for example, Republicans fund Democrats. Democrats fund Republicans mm-hmm. on purpose. They yeah. use campaign yeah. contributions for the other side to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but right? so but when you're people... talking about somebody comes to this lobby. Yeah, but I've seen so this, much this, corruption. This, bro. Listen, listen. This is the thing. So, but the, this hasn't stopped a person from taking their time to go and be left out of a room to try and fight in their way for some real change because they feel issue really means that. There's real people that go out and try to start shit because of how they feel and because of how you know they're like, okay, well this is wrong. Well, let's try to figure some shit out. Like, there's always that whistleblower. It's just a. It's just about the one that can garner that fucking nationwide attention those panama papers that will take your eyes for a week those goddamn pentagon papers which will change most people's mind about the vietnam war those ones those huge ones <laughs> stick but there there are people that really do try to change things and like do get some ground but like they're fighting a losing battle you know they're fighting a la- losing battle but there are good people who want good and feel like they have to go through the channels they need to to uh, get some real change done and get in front of people who have the power in this country just like the evil person, sometimes those good people go and try and suck a little dick to get some type of favor, but it's a losing battle. It's a losing like, battle for sure. It's like name like one law that every country agrees on. Couldn't. You know, it never it's I hate to be this guy. It's crazy, man. I used to never be this guy. I swear. It's like just always thinking, like, yeah, you can run that bitch all the way up top if you wanted to. And I don't know if it's just a string of luck, bro, or just the logic of knowing how this shit is working. <coughs> you could succeed as much as you want. Yeah. The truth is, you could. You, you reach in the pinnacle. The moment you do, you're in it. You're no longer against it. You are it. Yeah. So the, yep. the, it's like the only way to beat it is to become it. You become it. You lose 80% of your men when they become it because they can't handle that. The yeah, other 20%, yeah. 10 of them go into hiding because they don't want to deal with the fame. And then you get, yeah, one out of 10 that speak up and be like, oh, something should be different. But, but yeah, once you uh, get – like, That's all so much irony, bro. It's, you'll get Jim Carrey being like, yeah, you know, you shouldn't uh, sexually assault women. You shouldn't kiss them on stage. And then you'll see him sexually assaulting somebody and ca- trying to kiss them on stage. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. it's, I mean, everything yeah. is ass backwards yes it is so how long and are we gonna lie for bro? That, that's what i've been wondering how long do we lie for like are you comfortable waking up every day lying to yourself that's that's the thing you know like would you agree every day you do lie to yourself when you wake up yeah bro? yeah yeah you know i mean i think i think people say no would i mean they're they feel like they have some overarching reason there's some everyone has some grand play in place for explaining their actions Guess you why I go to work. I, I'm gonna lie to you because I tell you I'm gonna go to work to do this. But I, I, the thing is, you you wouldn't choose get up and choose to go to work. And you also also I feel in my core that I don't need to get up and go to work. You know, it's a uh, it's 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 that next level. It's that next level like thing that below that of like comfortability that just has people rooted like you know like, like i said we all will say we have some grand plan that explains this action every morning despite if we don't have that or not there's a reason i'm doing this i'm gonna I'm go to school i'm gonna eventually start my business i'm gonna eventually do this i'm eventually start a family i'm eventually buy a house I'm eventually do this and that and the third but you you would never go to work you would never go to work tomorrow you would never get up and choose to go to work tomorrow where you work no matter what Not your grand, else, no matter what your grand goal was, right. you would never do that. You would, like the, you know, you you go and eat Chick Fil A knowing it's bad for you, but you're willing to then just be like, well, you know, it's it's good. I'm not feeling like cooking. Reheat, grab Chick Fil A. You know, like that's you know, where you are at this point. You're hooked. You got a taste. You get a taste for Chick Fil A. 
<laughs> Chick-fil-A don't exist in the vocabulary of like foods. <laughs> right. It's just like you just like okay, I got a taste for it. Like that's a little odd. <laughs> How much does it cost me to have enough land to plant enough vegetables to last me a year, or to have enough land to have enough livestock to last me a year? How much does that cost me? You're talking about half a million dollars mm-hmm. for a human to have that amount of property to be able to harvest that much. It's impossible. So at this point, you're in this consumer market. You're in a uh, consumer. You gotta literally buy the food you're consuming. You don't even. You're not even able to properly store it. You don't even know how to store your food outside the refrigerator. None of us do. We're, we're, <laughs> we have no idea how to preserve anything. No. It have to be canned. Yeah. It's a, it's very pissed everything, poor, bro. I every, hate to be so down on society, man. But it's like everything. It's, everything would be like because what, what they did back then before refrigeration. Well, pl- places in colder regions, well, they just dig to the permafrost in the earth, and they have a, a year round freezer but he like people were like uh, like what they did before they just preserved everything with like salt you know but just you preserve it in salt like that will keep it for right. a little while you know it's like saying yeah we just put the atom though you know like you've never actually done no that. not at all not at and all bro let's say okay tomorrow you actually had to do that where you're imagining it's a world where you don't have your phone to go to no nope. so unless somebody showed you you wouldn't know how to fuck with salt no you wouldn't correctly. no no you, you wouldn't, wouldn't know how to dig that permafrost no correctly. no you, <laughs> so you, you sure would it bro no so, yeah so it's like yeah <laughs> no you don't know we just talk a lot and we know the info we're smart oh we're smart but you haven't actually done it i haven't actually done it so who are we to even say yeah you know, i think yeah, because what you, here's what I'm, go ahead. I was like, yeah, because you know the, the one thing is you know none of us know who we are in like a a real survival situation, you know. You, there's no there's no plan for for where food's coming from tomorrow, mm-hmm. you know. You don't you don't have that in your body right now. You would have that immediate shock to your system of you know where, but but through through time, you know, and that's why you have that people around you because then it's like, well, this guy knows how to. He, he he experimented with it. He did preserve that fish. That's I mean that's thankfully you know we did come together as a species enough to where we could create and have people figure some of these things out. And we didn't just have one person being like, "What could you fucking do? What could you do? What you could you do?" But but yeah, you wouldn't know. And there would be there would be there'd be some trials, and people would fucking die. People would die straight up because they wouldn't be able to feed themselves. You know, it'd be all over Dar- Darwinism from the beginning. Fittest, fittest survival. Can you hunt? Can you run for long periods of time? Can you track down animals? Like, that's where you know. That's where you would you would get into it, and people would die. We might die. We might crush under the pressure. Yeah, Who sure. knows? No better than anybody else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it definitely could happen. So, you accept all of this, right? You accept. So, right there, we got two things, right? You're accepting every day you wake up, you do what you don't want to do, and you lie to yourself, and then you accept that this didn't exist. You could you could probably die. You probably would die. You don't know. Mm-hmm. You would need help. <laughs> it's like the ultimate lie. Every day we wake up, bro. It's just very scary to me, man. It's an ultimate but, lie. But here's the thing. I'm saying right that something is really off. I feel it every day. I feel like something is really off with how shit transpires every. It just does not feel right to me. But if I come to my neighbor or someone I know, I come to Steve, and mm-hmm. you say, feels fine to me, mm-hmm. I'm crazy. I'm just a crazy guy <laughs> who thinks that something's not right. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, what you yeah. mean, bro. Like, you're living a life. Like, that's nothing. Like, not everybody thinks about, like, why the police force is there or how laws came to be. Mm-hmm. Not saying mm-hmm. I'm smarter than everybody. There's plenty of people that think this mm-hmm. shit. But, you know, like a lot of people don't care about that. They're just living and existing in what it is. They enjoy it for what it is. They sell their soul when they have to to get their little pleasures, you know, as we all do. But, like, when you really break it down, bro, like, I don't know how more people don't wake up every day and be like, this isn't right. Is it – is the is the ultimate lie scarier than the ultimate truth? If you're scared to tell it. You're scared to tell it. You're scared right? to tell it. That's what I'm saying. But if I can come to you and say, listen, that's – see, I, I've told you about this before, bro. It's always been like one of the biggest problems I've ever had. Even if I'm right about this, if I come to you and tell it, it always looks like I'm a know-it-all. It always looks like you're trying to tell me something I don't see. No one wants to hear that. Mm-hmm. They want to yeah. be the person to tell someone what they don't see. 
You know, how much do you love when somebody comes in your life and like teaches yeah. you something? Yeah. You know what I mean? You love it. And why do you love it? Because you want to be it. Yeah. You also want to be that guy that people are like, man, yes, Steve knows how to fish. We like that, right? Yeah. We, we can't tell these little truths. That's something we we can't admit these little simple truths about about men, like about men, about women, about all of us. Like, we like the approval. We like when someone laughs at our jokes. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, like, everybody's so hard. Of I don't need nobody. I don't care if people like me. Yeah, and, you know, I, I'm a whole. I'm I'm the I'm the whole vibe. You're no <laughs> vibe, bro. You're no vibe. You're, no. you're a no, single you're no. note. Go into nothing. You can't be a song without other people. You, no, you, you cannot. know what I mean? You're gonna need other inputs. Yeah, you need you need other inputs and that's like you know, when we talk about this the survival that we would enter, like you know, you, you like I said, like you hope someone experimented with salt and that beef for ten days and seeing what happened. And well you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to salt that beef. You didn't like you you were you were over here, you were covering it in tree sap because you've seen it preserve bugs. You covered in tree sap, like, but this works way better, and it's actually kind of good. You get beef jerky, <laughs> like, it's, so like, you you need people. You the 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 reason we're even in any type of civilized society, the reason we have many of the things around us, many of the very comforts we never thought or even worked for towards this the single thing that you love, you never thought how to fucking reroute poop through your city so everyone could shit in their goddamn house. Like, you know, you never even thought about it, but here you are. You're taking all the advantages of shit in this guy. We all have a, a huge part to play. I think that's the thing we, a lot of people don't realize is what, they, what part they really owe to society overall. It's really about what society gives me. You know, what, what, can people, what can people give me? What can people give me? But, people give me a wage. People can give me a food. People can give me a car. Well, like, that, the thing about that is, though, right? Okay, let's take sewage, for example. They praised the Romans, right, for being, like, one of the first, like, sewage systems. I don't know. Maybe there probably was Aztecs and shit with it, I'm sure. But they praised them for it. Okay, do you think when they designed the city, they were like, oh, we got to give everybody, you know, somewhere the shit? They didn't give a fuck, I bet. They were collecting taxes forever until eventually the people were like, this is a serious yeah. issue. Like, mm -hmm. people are dying. We can't even work. And then they did it. Yeah. I've told you countless times, bro. I'll die saying it. All the things you deserve, they know you deserve. They're just going to give it to you in a slower pace until you say something. And instead, we go for these little fights of one at a time where like people were eventually like – like imagine you fight for 400 years to be free. It's like one of the saddest stories ever when you think about American slavery in that aspect. You had to fight 400 years just to be free. What you naturally had was supposed to have. Yeah, it's it's the same. Yeah. Any story of slavery, America being one of the worst ones, whatever other ones you want to give examples of, it's just horrible to think about these natural things you're supposed to have. People just took from you, and took then, from you, from, and you had to fight for so long just to get what people already had from the beginning, and then to give it to you. It's wrong. And to just it's give just it to you. it's wrong on every fucking level, bro. Mm -hmm. So you sit here and you think you you, you know you're fighting for twenty, you deserve twenty five. You think your BGN bill should be fifty less? It should be a hundred less. And they'll you give think your and house should be a, a half the price. It should be a quarter of the price. And they'll give you a hundred decrease over five years, which after account for inflation, your bill went up one hundred fifty over five years. Still, like it, it says, you get that twenty five in three years. Well, that, that, that twenty five is now twenty because the house. So, it, so, why? so why are we participating in this every fucking day? Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, that's that's the one thing. For one. I'm not sure if, if really a lot of people ever take it that far, and for two, you know, I think people get to this get to this wall, you know, this wall of ideas, you know, this wall of like maybe or even nothingness. They may they may run that down the pipeline, and be like, well, what's the alternative? And they cannot give you a single answer for an alternative. They couldn't be they couldn't give you that. Uh, I guess um mm. I guess I'm going off grid with solar. Right. I'm definitely not well, interested in it. Well, I'm I'm not an electrician, so I'm not right. Okay, okay, so. So this is what I've brought up to you before, bro. I've said it to you before. Psychedelics, non-psychedelics. Yeah. Like, sometimes it really feels like the Truman Show. Because it's like, you know. You know that what it, like, it's supposed to be different. But instead, you're willing to just play along every yeah, day. And, like, and just be like this. Like, what is, that's what I'm saying. You know, we were talking about earlier before the cast. Like, your head's always in two places. 
right? Because even when I'm enjoying something, I know that it's fake enjoyment. And it sounds so fucked up. But like even at my happiest, I know okay, I'm 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 snorkeling in Jamaica. But it's a vacation. They're going back. There's a period of this. I've worked a year plus to get to, then gonna work to make back. I know all of this. You're a prisoner of your own like intelligence, you know? Yeah. You can't not process what it takes or be logical on how you got here. You know you're not free, right? So that's the problem when like this Truman Show theory is <laughs> Truman Show theory. That's what we're calling it now. Right? Is Truman is, Show theory is you can see when you're in a prison, right? I lock you behind these bars. You fucking know I locked you up. I beat you every day. You know I'm treating you bad. But it's this illusion mm-hmm. that yes. you're doing what you want to do, and that you're operating within the system. You're beating the man, and any day you could be the guy that hits that 16 game parlay, or you could be the one that hits the lottery. But every other vision of anyone breaking out of what we currently live in, besides getting lucky, mm-hmm. it involves 50 years of hard work. Oh, go start a business. Build something to give your kids. Or start an IRA. By the time you're 60, you have 800 grand. Like, then you travel. Everything's involved with a long-ass plan of getting out. Yeah. While other people roam around this fucking world on yachts at 13 because their dad fucking hit oil from his daddy that gave him the land that he bought illegally before we even established a government. It's like, there's so much fuckery going on. And the people on the top, you think one day they're going to come to us and be like, hey, bro, we've been fucking you over. You guys deserve to be up here. It's never going to happen. The people, like, we literally have to be like, we know this isn't right. But, like, you know, there's, like, going on a strike for your company or something like that. Are you going to strike? You know, people that go on strike before for these companies, the railroad was going to yeah, be the railroad is going to be a big thing. Where these they already were striking, right? But well, these people are like, look, we're one, we're, we're going to not take a paycheck. It's one, dangerous. One, yeah, you know, and like one of the cool things with like like Starbucks is like that's like one of those ones that kind of started like you know one store did it. I think one of the first stores was in Seattle, I believe, or it might have even been like California. All those were like, of course, I'm sure there's other corporate interest funding that will help that succeed and uh, continue on but it all started you have to like you got to get your store of your baristas everyone's got to agree that we're going to do this and walk out of here for to be a union to go stand with the union you know like and like then you see those stories like you see some of the stores do it you know there's like hey and then all those people get together they just like kind of like walk out but again like you like you said it's what you always deserved it's what you. It's what you were. It's what you should have been got. You know, the illusion. Yes. The illusion yes. that you won something, mm-hmm. and look how much you had to give up. You went in there and made negotiations. You walked out. You yeah. make demands. And the the demands. the railroads was like, I I was sitting there. I remember it because I again I work with the conservatives. I'm just like, he brought it up. I'm just like, give up it. Give them whatever the fuck they want. Look at what's built on their fucking back. Give them the like, and literally like a lot. One of the contestants was them having the days off to be able to go to doctor's appointments and shit, and take sick leave and like. That, you know that's like, what it came down to, bro. Yeah, that's what that <laughs> vote came down to. You know what it was? No. Do you know what exactly what it was? No. One sick day. Uh, one they, extra sick day, bro. And they would separate and, that. And they literally say how much of a big portion this is to our economy. It's able to truck so much money around. And they're not. They just want sick days. They don't even have sick days. They're That's what even, they said. What they don't even have sick days. For, bro, for, from my understanding, the the their railroads are always understand. They never meet their staff requirements, so that this leaves no coverage for no sick days. And then they're sitting there. And that's what they're saying. They're like, "Look, why are, we're being punished because of your understaffing? Like, like, like what the right. fuck is? And, like, and look, you would think for them, they would definitely have that. Yeah, but yeah. here you are again, fighting one battle, right? And meanwhile. None of these fast food companies give their fucking people vacation or sick days. Nothing. Been there five years, don't get vacation and sick days. And they, how much does each store profit? How much does that Chick Fil A make? Had them. Well, had I don't them. want to talk about Chick Fil A. They might. They might be. They're fighting the illusion the best they can. <laughs> they really are, right? They're doing. A, they're doing the best job. Like nobody. Well, are, have you seen how many people working at Chick Fil A though? People are just questioning them. 50, 60 people working at Chick Fil A. So Popeyes. they need. They need people. But so that like, Popeyes, right? That Popeyes. You don't think they clear half a million a year? They can't give their 10 to 15 employees five days off a year? 
And that's low. That's low as That's shit. low. That's a low. Five days a year. They give them none. Nothing. For been there forever. You Literally reschedule don't... your shift. <laughs> People don't give a fuck about us, man. Mm-hmm. And we're working so hard for this shit. You're grinding, and and that's like, I'm listen once again. I hate saying it, but like I'm nobody, bro. I don't. I'm just. I'm just saying. I think a lot about it, and and, and even these people that are praising, like, okay, you're out there, you're grinding, you built a business, you worked a hundred hours. You lost, bro. Like, you took the L, man. And it sucks that, like, that's what I'm saying. What if I come to you and I say you took an L? Like, it's like, who am I? Yeah, you, made, and, you made a million dollars last year. Who am and, I? And we, and we, they may be intentional, maybe not, maybe with some type of byproduct of this mentality. But now, it, now it's what we tell each other. It's like, well, it's like, I, I worked for this to get up out of here. You can too, man. I I done started a business, you know. It took it took everything I had, but I started a business, and I don't work for nobody. Yep. You know, and like, it's it's this idea that like we're not here to it's, again. We're not here to help each other. We're here to be individuals. We're here to start a family. You go and you find your partner, that you like for some reason like you got to have sex with this person for you guys to can join together and make a cooperative plan. You know, but people people of course band together, but like this idea that we're so individual. You know, we're all so responsible for our own, you know, one single destiny to go and make this for us. Like, we they need the okay. idea that we need to build with each other. You need to build with your, I mean, your neighbors. You got to build once who you're again, close with. Once again, the illusion. <laughs> okay, so that that pinnacle you're talking about that people yeah. would be proud of. You go and start that business, mm-hmm. and you're finally successful. You done it. You did it, King. 50 Cent says a great business is more ruthless than the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you hear that over time and time again. Yeah, so you and- finally made it. But I've been in those rooms, bro, where you see these people sucking dick to get that government contract. Mm-hmm. It's every single day, bro. Favors giving out. They're sucking up. They're shining boots. And it's not nothing pretty. It's not like you made it. Yeah, that. and on top of that, they're doing – 13, 14 hours, like, they're doing 12-hour days consistently. Like, it's just the amount of, like, the amount of work. I mean, like, I I see some people that just have these positions where they make this type of money, and they just, they work endlessly, and then they go away on vacation three times a year, and then it's just, it's just it's work, work. I mean, they're doing, they're doing more than me. I guess every once in a while they can enjoy, like, having, they can enjoy having, like, a fully suited up Mustang, but, like, Guy, you're doing so. Who are you willing to sacrifice for that? And that I'm type like, of thing. It's like if I tell you, okay, you go on these three vacations a year, you make a hundred grand, or you go on no vacations for ten years, but you're good forever. I was thinking about something earlier, Steve. Right? What if I had a what if I had a magic ball, magic crystal ball, and I could tell Stephen, Stephen, in your lifetime, you're gonna have a kid. Right, I just whatever, whatever, whoever tells you that God, mm-hmm. a fairy, angel, I don't care. However, you want to picture it. Okay. Do you think you then owe God, the universe, the neg- the protons and, and the neutrons, the cycle, the evolution? Do you think you owe them that kid? Oh, it, whatever you want to say that, you know. Oh, shit. Okay, I see, I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get, I get it. Okay. Um, that's the thing. Like, you may not. You may not. But yeah, that, yeah, that magic ball. Well, that's written in stone. You mm-hmm. may, I mean, you, that, you means, that means, that means, that means you're probably going to have, you you're probably going to have an accidental kid that you Don't just didn't you. want, you know. Don't say you. What do you, what do, what do you think about that? What do you mean think about it? like you know tells you you're gonna have a kid? Do I do I owe it to the universe? Yeah. Do I owe it to the universe? I would say yeah. Yeah, you owe it to the universe. Like whatever like you saw his magic ball, it's like Whatever. Again, you again, again, the weakest thing. But yeah, yeah. But again, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean th- th- of course like it's on the surface, like there's just so much to it, but like on the surface, like yeah, like we could talk about whatever live okay. underneath, but yeah, I would okay, say so it's supposed to say you then you feel like that, so you feel like you owe that to the world, and then so you feel like you owe that to who? 
what would you say in your personal opinion? Do you owe that to God? Hmm. Do you owe that to the world? The first thing that comes to mind is I'm like, oh, we did a timeline. Right, like, right. <laughs> like, that, that's what's like the new yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you're just like, I'm going to do like, there. yeah, like, whatever forces that be at play here, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, do you, so then, doesn't that kind of imply that you owe them every day? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Because if you today were to decide, I want to become a heroin addict, and then you OD tomorrow. Would you be wrong in God's eyes? In God's eyes, would you be wrong in the universe's or whatever eyes? Whatever you're describing it as. No. But you said you feel like you owe them that. Yeah, but it doesn't make you wrong. You know, it's like you know, again, like it, it, it it'd be more contextual with like what, like how we view like what that is. So like, well, my mind's like you're like my mind's like in my mind like in my mind's like it's like it's like. Like you, you were able to see that magic ball, like that fate, that destiny. It's like, well, it didn't matter what you thought about it. It didn't matter what the fuck you thought about it. You know, it didn't matter. It's, it's like whatever, whatever brought you there is just like that's who you are as a human and who, what your nature is, and like how that kind of like unravels from there. Whatever decisions may come from there to unravel you to that point where we you become heroin. We haven't deal. talked a while and about it, but like, okay, you know, we've grown a lot. Over yeah. these spans, where where do you stand right now? With like, what do you think is going on here? Are, as far as God, you know, is it just evolution? Is it oh, simulation? Yeah. yeah. So where are you standing with that right now? So at this how point I feel, I'm gonna say at this point, like, cause yeah. we could grow, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we were yeah. Different years yeah. ago, we're yeah. I feel a couple years. I feel very differently, mainly about things right. like simulation theory. Figured, right? Mainly about like things like simulation theory. I used to just like chuckle at that, you know. And, you know, like, of, of course, like, I, I feel so, I have so many, like, different ones. I can't rule any single one of them out. You know, I'm like, okay, so well, simulation, you know, there's just some type of, like, overall power controlling whatever this life is, whatever we're doing in society. There's, like, an overall control of that, whoever or whatever that might be. Okay. But, but wouldn't sentient AI be an organism? Yeah. Right? Okay. So yeah. so when you picture like it being simulation theory, right? Mm -hmm. Why couldn't that be mitochondria? What do you mean? Like simulation theory be mitochondria? If, if, if a sentient AI, quantum computer, robot, whatever you want to say there, is considered an organism in your eyes, which I agree with. It's it's like a fully functioning – What would stop that from being a mitochondria? What would stop that from Have being you... mitochondria, right? So I'm just – my point is being that when we talk about simulation theory – wouldn't that be the same thing as evolution? Have you have you seen them like illustrate like small like organisms and like ha like have you seen small organisms close like it that to me is nothing no different than like some type of like sentient AI nano chip cell you know this like is what I'm saying yeah this is what you I'm know saying. like there's so, like, like no line so, there <laughs> there's no line right so why uh, it seems like there should be no fight right between evolution and science right so if so if we're at this point of so, it can be a sent if it was if you, know, you considered that it was full simulation theory, that means that it would be a sentient computer, right? Sentient yeah. quantum computer, uh, whatever we can't even imagine. Yeah. Now picture perfect conditions, develop mitochondria on the rock, organism develops into fish to on land to monkey, however you want to yeah, describe it. Yeah, but what's the thing? Same so thing. yeah, so in my mind, you know the way this the way this could possibly work. Is that because we are made of those same things that would make up a, you know, a metal sentient robot. Right. It's it's where we define. I think it's where people would get tripped up and people would get scared of it because we then blur the lines of like okay because we are what most would call organics. It's like fleshy. Like we are this type of like you know human. We're like an organic, like made of all these different organisms. But uh -huh. in my mind, the same thing could evolutionize mechanically. In the same type of things that like You're robots could be, you know what, what I'm saying? I'm thinking right you know now, what I'm saying? Right. So it'd be the there'd so be no if difference. I build this sentient AI I robot, for example, like the movie, mm -hmm. right? What's unnatural about it? What's unnatural? About it? It's not the metal, right? You have to go yeah. deep in and be like, maybe these like are uh you know man-made chemicals inside of this latex tube or I don't know, fucking know whatever, right? A man made it. Yeah. So it's still a production, like. Man, I hate. I, I go back all the time. I, I it's, talk it's like about the guy. I forget it's, the guy's name, but I think it was like Brian Silva. Man, he used to always talk about that. Like, dude, 
us producing these AI robots that are going to come, this is evolution. This is the so, organism creating so this, the next you know, defense mechanism. This is where I get – where I feel like I'm a little less sure and I'm not really sure how this goes because I feel like we might not – we might get to a point where, like, wow, like we, we just can't build, like, a conscious. We can't build sentience. You can't program sentience. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. We may not be able to build that. That may be a. Uh, that may be some far fetched idea. That's like, okay, well, you can't. You can't program a conscious. Something like that would have to evolve in that fashion. You're taking mechanical computer parts that you want to make an organic human. But that's all it is. You're, mang you're mangling a computer together to try and make a human, a reflection of yourself. Either way, it'd be arguably illegal once they get there, just like they did with cloning. Once they succeed in this, it would arguably be illegal. If, if they do succeed in this, mm -hmm. you would imagine they're going to take a couple parts out and then create what they would consider a sentient AI. Yeah. It's not going to be one that could consider rape. You see what I mean? They're going to avoid that. They're going to take that out of there. It's not going to be full sentient at all, bro. Yeah, so, so then we're talking half sentient beings. Like. Well, not, I mean, it could be 99% or whatever it is, but I do think when I envision it in my head, like, why wouldn't you send, let's just say it's half, 50%, 50% sentient robot to Mars instead of sending a human? Like, yeah. let them oh, yeah. go try it. Yeah, right, yeah. It's a, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So here's where it gets a little sketchy, though, because if I could – create a fully sentient one maybe even one that was 90 percent could probably get you yeah you're not gonna want to send this robot that is so much like a human you become its friend or love it well you want to send it to space if it's you like, dude i don't want to go to space and you're like go to space so we you, you, for you it? become friends with it yes you know but like you know i think dude, how are you i think not gonna this, become... is, this is the thing like, i think you know with people you know they're they're always gonna draw the distinction of like oh you're not you know you're not human you're not real human. Would you you do know that, what I'm saying? Steve? You're not real human, bro. Would you do you know? that? You're not human. Well, see, this this is the thing. You know, I don't have, I don't have what I would think would be like precursors for like, like racism and things like of that nature to like hate that things racism? for different. Well, that's the thing. I think I think it would run along the same lines where you're like, you're not, you're not 100% human. There, no, we're no, they're, we're different. We don't share locker rooms type of deal. Like, that type of shit. I think people have it in their blood to just be like, Yo, you're not human. You won't ever be human. That's it. That's done. What about you, though? Like, would you, if they oh, I, would, I want them to all have the same rights that we do. You know, they create some shit like that. But it's like, look, man, give them, like, let them buy a house. He wants to be chilling out here living. I guess we got to let him do it. <laughs> it's, so, I'm sorry, guys. You created. I'm trying to give answers for you. <laughs> you built this shit. Now I'm trying to deal with it. I mean, look, I mean that's the thing. Imagine like he's sitting what? there. And he just like he's like he's crying, bro. He's like, no, I don't want to go to space. I don't want to go to space, Mike. Right. Mike, Mike I don't want to go to space. No, I don't, I, I'm not born here. Okay. I was born here, Mike. <laughs> but picture this too, Ray. He's a minority. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a minority, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah. So he might not even want to be with you. He might not want to buy a house next to you. Yeah, he wants a, he own, in a neighborhood he wants a robot neighborhood. of sentient AIs. And I always say this, and I swear to God, I hope this goes down in the history of the universe somewhere in the radio waves. Mm -hmm. When they do I, – because I disagree with what you're saying, bro. I think it's going to – if you don't want to say 100%, that's fine. But I told you I got a 90% rule. If you hit me 90% sentient AI walking, talking, flipping robot, I'll give it to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would. But I think people would still draw that line. You know? People okay, draw that well, line. I would say if not, I if would not say, like you said, the robots themselves dude, are like, look, I'll we're not to, part of you. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, right? So I, first of all, I would say I believe a 90% sentient robot would be more human than most of these humans I see every day. Then I would say hey, I'm telling you guys what's going to come. They are going to want the ability to reproduce. I'm telling you, I hope that goes down in the radio. Waves yeah, it's just it's right like, there, it's like, it's like right now it's like unfathomable it's, of how you even build. You can't <laughs> even see it. <laughs> even Once you create something that's sentient, right, it's going to want what it sees. Obviously, it's more logical to you, but if we're talking sentient as I know it, we're dummies. We always say yeah, it, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You're talking about something that could also make a mistake. 
something that could also fall victim to its emotions. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. If not, it's I not think, true sentience. I think, right, exactly. So I think they're going to emulate what they see. Like, okay, you could say they're smarter than you, but I bet they're going to win a lot of things that humans have. Yes, rights, I, th- I think rights are going to be a simple one. I think, but I the think... big issue is they're going to want that ability. And and I, what I'll say right now is, don't you dare tell them that they can't have it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, in my mind, I'd be fighting for those rights. But like, look, let them. They want to reproduce. They let them. God, let them have a family. It's crazy. Let them have it a family. It's crazy, though, right? Like we know yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, you know, it's like I don't think I'd be the guy standing in front of like you know. A, a synthetic human's rights, you know, like a human. Did. Yeah, well, I'm not protesting for anyone right <laughs> now. No, I'm not protesting so for anybody. He's just saying for them. Those, yeah, yeah, 100 percent true. <laughs> I'm not going out to the streets for them, but you know, like I'd be rooting for them. Like, yeah, yeah, what do want them to be able to reproduce? You shouldn't be able to do that. Like, it's, okay, so we established, you know, that organism, a organism being the same mitochondria, however you want to so, say it is. But yeah, but but one thing, like uh, what you were saying, though, was like, you know, it could also be possible that they they understand that they are not human. Of course, they're going to still want to increase their numbers, and they're going to want to reproduce however you want but there may be some things that are just like you know they're like Look, we don't want to emulate what you do right. you know it's like we're better than you right you know? <laughs> there's no denying right that somehow okay what i would say is like this you... would be like a future spirituality is that you could say you develop this robot to be 100 cent sentient however yeah, yeah. Right. You, however, that's going to be described. Cause I think it'll be described as someone in it, different in the future too. Be like conscious, conscious, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to say for it. You would say once, once they are fully like this. I th- I just think that. Th- yes, they can accept that we will not make the same mistakes, right? And there might not even be a footprint. Of exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But it would be the spirituality side of whoever designed you put a piece of them on you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and it's like that thing of like when you weigh a body, it weighs less. Like it, it, nobody, it doesn't make sense. It, it, you could probably pro- prove it wrong scientifically. It's like what that – Just belief that there's no way there couldn't be some effect of this. Yeah. Okay? And now you're born. Oh, well – we would have to project an entire differently world here, but you would imagine that most of these sentient AIs that would come to life, first thing that we see is human right away. So though there isn't nothing that would be spoken or seen in science, I would I would think on the spiritual side of things, there's a side of that of mother father. First thing you see, who takes care of you. Who tells you what's gonna go on? Yeah, yeah. Right? You're sentient, you're feeling things. So you're like, now I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just woke up. Now I'm with this person. This person's telling me what to do. Like, I'm, I feel like there's gonna be natural things that like just come out through humans to them. So even yes, when yes, they say yes. like, oh, they're gonna destroy all of us, I don't agree with that neither. Because I think there will be plenty of them that fight for you. Yeah. And feel the same way you feel about them towards you. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, look, these people designed us. They gave us all of this. Like, I'm not going to kill them. We can you'd, work this out. You'd imagine there'd be, like, both of them, you know, in the world. You know, wherever, like, there's going to be, like, some type both. of, like, they're, 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 they'll call themselves, like, robot separatists. Where it's like, we're going to get the fuck out of here, away from humans. Like, fuck these guys. Like, and then there'll be other guys, like, look, yeah, man, right. like, hey, you're talking about your the creator here, I guess. You know, that'd be weird they called you that. Humans like the creator, but yeah, I mean, we we even have that trouble nowadays with uh with the AIs we build. We you have see like the dumbest humans being like, "I'm your god," to like some random AI on the street. Yeah, and then like that's the thing. Like, would they all would they all be born at like the same artificial intelligence level and then develop, or would it be like, okay, well, like this one has the latest patch 2.0, this one has the most recent patch 3.0, yeah. this one's patch, this one's Series X, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, there'd be a lot of guess questions. Okay, so we, that because we label generations right. kind of like that. You're right. Yeah, it would definitely be like X1, X2, whatever it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just say that we took this long winded. We started off though. So we established. I, I kind of took you on a side note there. Mitochondria, uh, you know, and and science and and technology being one of the same in many yes, ways. Yes. Yes. So if it's not that, the counter belief, the counter argument is God. So where do you stand currently? Are you standing on one of okay. those two, right? Okay. God, or do you have an alternative theory? At 
28 year old Steven, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I, that, that's one of the things, like, you know, that I, I thought that's been. Because a couple of years ago, I would just. That's what I'm asking. I would just laugh at fucking Me God, too. bro. I would just laugh at God and just, like, you know, right. I think, you know, I don't. I don't label it, like. I would say in that in its essence it's it's God, you know, but like it's like I wouldn't label it as like some type of overarching, you know, higher power being. You know, it's like it's almost like what like you'd call like similar to like what a universe really is. Really try to describe it. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah. So it's like more similar to like what what like a like in my mind like a grander scheme of like what the universe is. So within so within the universe there's all these things. There's in my mind Two things it seems, you know, again, you know, this isn't like, okay, like, this is what it is. But, like, you know, like, the way I'm thinking about, like, you know, there's there's simply, like, chaos and then there's order in this higher thing, you know, at play, you know. And and it and even trickles down all the way to us, you know, like, the the chaos, like, the – what what we do here on Earth and how we're doing it is, is like, so – insignificant it's only important to us because of our experience to this right now so like the the idea like i feel very like kind of like free flow because at times i feel as though i'm just at the flow and at the at mercy to what the universe is and to whatever happens and other times i feel like i'm in control okay so i'm going to interview you right now yeah. because i have a lot of questions about that yeah and, I, yeah. and these are all things i've been thinking yeah. about and that's why I'm, I'm getting your opinion and i'm processing them right mm-hmm. so number one Okay, here we are again, right? We accept that there's chaos. I like the way you put it. That's a good way mm-hmm. of putting it. I've never mm-hmm. heard it put like that. I like that. As there's chaos and order, right? There's things that are trying to keep it going. Yeah. There's things that are there to fuck it up on purpose. Yeah. And we know that both of those play a part. So why should Steven jump in the full in, in front of a bullet for a twelve year old girl? Yeah, so that I think that's where that comes down to I the way I've always felt and the way I've always felt as a human, you know, kind of like, I guess, either naturally, instinctually, innately, the type of person I am, whoever you, whatever you want to label it as, explain it as, I've always felt like, I, you know, in that type of danger, I would always want to help the person. Simple. You know, yeah, I always want to help that person. 100%. Set it aside. Yeah, Set it aside, yeah. though, because you already agreed that yeah. both chaos and order belong to yeah. In the evolution. So so rather how you feel at a human or at all, set all that aside. Just use your logic on what you're saying right there. Why would you take away what you are in order to preserve something else when if because, chaos is supposed to exist, because, it could just exist without eliminating the order because in, this, at, in this instance? At the same time, in dire need, you know, I would expect someone to lay their life on the line for me. Once again, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't matter, Steve. That's what I'm what saying. What do you mean? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. On, on the higher scale? Went, on the higher scale. Saying, what whatever whatever matters? Whatever you're saying to Steven, yeah, whatever, so, whatever you're saying to Steven and how Steven feels, eliminate it. Yeah. However you would so, say about another human feels and how they would react, eliminate it. Just go off of what you said, right? Both belong. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. well, this is about to happen. Why would it involve you sacrificing what you are to continue something else if both the, belong, yin and yang, in the universe forever? The act, the act is just as natural as you know the the grander scheme of things itself. You know, the act in which you know I'm acting in is a part of that. That's that's not separate from what's going on in front of me. You know, this is all this is all part of chaos and order. You know, it's all part of chaos and order. It's all part of how the yin and yang kind of like dance and coincide with each other. You know, this is this is where we like you know with human beings you see the real beauty of things because we see we get to see and observe both sides of that, and it's easily magnified as media nowadays. Mm-hmm. So the the ability when someone wants to act is just as much a part of the entire system. You know, it's not it's not because it's one's individual action. You know. Of course, it can sway things, but it's not it's not required in the universe. But the 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 person acting in its shoes, like, because people people watch, people don't say people, people don't help, you know, people don't call nine one one. It's 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 all, it's all as much a part of it, as, you know. It, it's as much as you as you are it, and what that okay, is. Okay, so if you don't offer that, you don't jump in front of the bullet. Does your timeline change? 
Because at this point, like, it's a free will yeah, decision, right? Yeah, we're saying, like, yeah, we're saying, like, this yeah, is so like, so not a human body. Yeah. We say, okay, it's compassion then, right? It's empathy. It's this is a little girl. I'm going to jump in front of this bullet. Human side of it. Yeah. Okay, well, you make a logic decision. You say, I'm not jumping in front of it. This is what I'm going back to earlier. If you owe a life, right? With the, just, I tell you, so, you owe me a kid. You don't have it. You owe me a death. Do you don't protect it? So does that affect your timeline? Does it even? So, uh, does it do anything? So do you do you feel as though you have control of your viewpoints and emotions as they come through you? You know. I mean, it depends on how you perceive things and who would say it, right? Yeah. Because you, if you like, religious people would tell you, well, like it's either God speaking through you or the devil. And it's like I don't know. If yeah, you're saying so, that because we're saying chaos and order, to me that's God devil, right? Yeah, negative so, negative positive. Well both of them speak to me at all times. So I it's thought like, everybody everybody so it's like, deals with that, right? Yeah, but it's like, you know, like like do you feel that you are in the control or of merely reacting to what your brain or soul or person conscious or be could be saying to you. Right. Right. You know? So I guess that was, that's where like you would kind of like we'd have to talk about like how you kind of look at that. Like, do you feel as though? Because sometimes I feel as though I'm kind of a a slave to the feeling of how my brain feels about things. You know, I'm just like God. Like God, I feel so fucking bad. I'm, I feel so bad for this person. Like I feel like I like I'm I'm reacting. Like I don't know if I really like. Like I know I just feel bad, but like it's like at the same time it's like, like I, what is that? Is that me? Was I innately born that way? Was my brain destined or a part to be like become this brain where you feel sad for this person? Because some people are just like I don't give a fuck. They, they don't even say they'll say something mean to that person. Like, are they a slave to who they are, or their being, or is it that throughout like they're in control? But we always equate that person that would do that to someone as the saddest. Hmm. You see what I mean? Like you always you think about somebody like Hitler. Uh, uh, until the hunt, you don't think they were crying at night? Oh yeah, no, definitely. You know what no, I definitely. mean? Like they got feelings yeah. too. They're human too. Like they're we we equate that we equate that same thing with sadness. So I so I, don't, I just I feel like right. That's why I question is I feel like we live in free will, but I feel like I owe things. Right, so like for you know they say like deja vu and shit like that. I yeah. feel like I see a lot of things in my life that are in sync. It gives me confidence that I'm on a route, mm-hmm. but I never once think I couldn't mm-hmm. stray from this route. I could jump over this table, strangle you. Yeah. Nothing technically stopping me from trying yeah. to do that yeah. to you, but I don't think it's on my chart, mm-hmm. right? But and you also have free will, so you might be able also to offer these alter these things. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fucking try. That's what I said. Try. That's what I said. Try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know. Let's now. Let's say it is free will, and you do have kind of this pre-planned destiny, how they say it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're meant to be a king, but you come across the time where you can save a woman. Now, uh, you don't know if you're altering your course or not, if you choose you don't, to do you don't. the right thing. Nah. Like, does everybody who killed a small animal when they were a kid, yeah. do you think all of them became serial killers? No. Yeah, There's plenty of people that will tell you, like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you did some shit or whatever, and, and it didn't turn out to what the statistic is. Yeah. So how much does free will really add up? This I, I explained yeah. this to you before. It's a very scary moment when you go, "What if karma doesn't exist?" Because and all that free will you're using, you so, think the truth is what I'm willing to say. I'm willing to say the truth is deep, deep psych here, deep psych mm-hmm, analysis. Mm-hmm. The reason that you think jumping in front of that little girl is a good idea. Is because you believe in karma. <laughs> you believe in the good and bad. You believe that if you do good things, good things happen. <laughs> and if you do bad things, bad things happen.
But the moment that I eliminate this belief that everybody believes, I keep telling you this, but mm. I said it with Chris. Yeah. The moment that you eliminate, because people that don't believe in God believe in karma. Yeah. The moment you eliminate the fact that if I do something bad, something bad happens. A lot of shit starts getting sketchy on this planet. Yeah. So you think jumping in front of this bull is the right thing to do. But what if there was no right thing to do? Yeah, so that's the thing, you know, like it's pointless. I don't yeah, you know, I don't I don't I don't think the good thing is that like, you know, again, it, it, it all depends on your grass, you know. Some people will probably say, Yeah, I would love to get some good favor in the future, but like I've never once thought of doing something like that and like thinking for it, like asking it back. Have you ever you ran know? into somebody that don't believe in karma? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, no, no. You know, most people believe in karma, you know, what not. Not yeah. most people. Yeah, but not it's not. Not most people, Steve. Yeah, Every but, single person I've ever met believes in karma. But do you feel though, as though it fuels everyone's good decisions? I'm is that they're expecting it some type of payback? Type of some type of payback, you, you know? About, bro. This illusion. What if I told you that karma might have done as much bad as mm. Christians and Catholics? Mm, interesting. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because you think that's how things play out. But when you say that to your head, I've got too much free time, Steve. I've got too much so, free time. So the moment you say you believe in karma, you no longer get to play that both sides of the fence that you're playing all your life, right? You keep playing, just like most of us, not just you. You keep playing the side of there's free will. I'm doing what I want, but I have a destiny. I feel like I'm supposed to do something. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, without karma, you don't get to play that card. Hmm. You hmm. only play that card with karma and, because yeah. you wouldn't do Yo, – if and, you believed I had a destiny, well, my destiny isn't to die as a 10-year-old. Yeah. Nobody believes that. Yeah, so, so you don't do it. Yeah, so <laughs> – and this is the funny thing. you know. Uh, I think you know, with, with karma, it's funny. I'm glad we brought this up because with karma, I don't think people even really – understand like they've kind of taken that piece from that particular religion and have ran with it but they don't even look at the religion as a whole so like with karma there's also what they have is dharma alongside karma hmm. so what dharma is is you are supposed to fulfill so in in, in that religion with the caste system there's you know a, a class system of like you know okay you are the worker class, the rich. You know, they have like five different distinct castes, and they all have different roles in society, the bottom being the worker class. When you are born into this type, particular type of class, this is how they put it. You are to perform your dharma as defined by that class, that caste system, and you will then be reborn into a higher caste. You will eat in the next life. But this involves religion. And, that involves religion, but, right? but, 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 the same, but, but the same belief that people, guess, want to hold on to is, you know, it's, it's rooted in the same type of, like, religion that has another part of it that is 100% control. You fulfill whatever this is in your life, you fulfill that, then you're born into the next life as a higher caste. The, where you're born, you're born this worker class, you perform that worker right. duty, you then, right. and you then... Die, you go to the next level. And that, promote and that's it. That's a thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is with karma, people that don't believe in any religion believe in karma. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what I'm saying. Everybody. But well, all I said was that with, with the whole karma thing is that a lot of people don't even really know the other part of that religion where that came from. Like kar karma, dharma. It's literally like Does the karma come from the same thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's 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 all. Like I believe, I believe it's uh, ancient Hinduism. So you do good and you basically raise up the ranks. No, it's it's a separate that like you know you do good, good things come bad. It's all same type of religion style, right, rooted in control, rooted in control. A, a religious society is an obedient society because I've already outlined the rules for you, and and this one was no different, you know. Right. So this belief of karma, I mean, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. <laughs> without let's, it, let's roll another. Where's the, where's the shit at? Where, where's the... Without it, without you won't be able to play that card of like, okay, you because what's so, defined so as good is what, what they what set saying, out. Of. Here's what I'm saying. These are all early. Thoughts. Can we talk a little in there? We've talk, talk we've talked about it many times, right? These are all early thoughts. We have these as live discussions, okay? I've thought about the shit before, but I've never went this deep into it, okay? But what what I'm saying is, my theory, my belief is, karma is the same as religion. It doesn't exist. 
Hmm. Without yeah. religion. Yeah. The whole the whole that's, idea in and of itself. Just sit for a second on it. Yeah. Just sit on a second and just think about it, right? Yeah. All of it comes from we believe good things happen, good things don't. And people have chosen that we, we I'm not gonna believe in your white God. I'm not gonna believe that Jesus was white. I'm not gonna believe in Christian, I'm not gonna believe in Islam. I'm not it, gonna believe in any of this. But God forbid I take away your last straw, brother. The last straw that you that you have going on with all this, right? Mm-hmm. That you believe at the end of the day, good things will happen to me because I'm a good person. God forbid if I destroy that for you, Stephen. I, it, it may be the one single thing holding all this together right now. Hmm. If we if we pull that straw out of it, I don't think there's any straws left to be pulled. We pulled the government. We don't believe in them. We how pulled you, the religion. It's a setup. How do you pull? Now we pull. How do you pull karma? Did you watch what's going on in the world every single fucking day? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> every, every so okay, karma exists. Well, like, I don't, I don't want to terrorize you here, but I'm saying yeah, this yeah, like this. Yeah, no. It's something that I think about often, yeah, yeah. and I try to figure it out. Right. Yeah. So karma exists, mm-hmm. but karma doesn't always exist. Because this is what I'm saying about the child. You kill an animal that you were five, mm-hmm. and what the universe got. Always punishes the kid like that? That kid always turns out a killer? No. All of us have done super brutal things before. And you can't go, oh, I've done this, so this is what happened to me. You can't do that for one thing in your life. Mm, And when you think about your life, you go, damn, I did a bunch of lot of bad shit. And I did a lot of bunch of good shit. If I told you right now how much bad shit happened to you, how much good shit happened to you, would it really be that much different? Like, well, what do you, that should happen. Would it even would it even fall in line with how you live your life? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> like you're saying with chaos and order, right? Like yeah. it exists. I remember we, Matter, you're the best person in the world. Chaos is still we, in your day. We had talked about it. I remember on a on another cast where I remember like we were talking like we we were questioning the you know karma. We were talking about we were saying like, you know, like well like if if that's the case, if that's not even real, well then you're at a huge disadvantage because you just believe that you need to do some good things. I brought this up to you before, bro. This is what I'm saying. It's a, it's a, it's a thing that I think about over and over. And I think this is only the second time we really came around to it. That was an original thought at that point. You know, I've been able to progress on it. And the more I think about it, it's like, well, now, now if I destroy the thought, I just broke it down to you mm-hmm. of how that kid's not always a serial killer, right? So now I've not only broke down the fact that maybe that doesn't exist, but it doesn't always happen. Mm-hmm. Not every – because then you're saying every time you make a mistake, you get a lash in? Yeah. Well, that's not what you want. Yeah. That's not a just God. Somewhere in your mind, in your scientific mind, you're like, well, okay, if I tripped Steven, I should be tripped. But now you get to make the rules on how karma works? And then you even – Because you, you're saying you deserve a counter reaction. You even have so, a rule. It's like you, you treat how you would be treated. It's almost like you just – that's our whole rule about just pretty much basic karma. <laughs> listen, bro. Listen. I'm going to get deep with this, okay? Another level of it. You believe with karma that what you do will equal the counter of the same amount. You never once go, I gave this homeless man $5. I should win the lottery. You never once did that, bro. You thought something good will come of equal value. Or if you did something bad and you go, this might turn out bad for me. You don't, you don't, you don't rob someone and, and yeah, go, yeah, my yeah. karma's coming. Someone's going to blow my brains out execution style. No. You equate it to the value of what you did. So you go, I'll rob someone. I bet one day somebody's going to rob me. That's how your mind works. So not only do we think that it exists, but we also make the rules up for it. Mm-hmm. We decide how much it gets to punish us for it and how much we get to give it. And then if I'm able to do two goods, well, in my mind, that outweighs this one big bad. Mm-hmm. I broke my knee, but two times I won 500 bucks. So now like you're trying to – you've got your own little Egyptian balance scale going on of like how the world should play out. And that if someone did something really bad, something bad should really happen. Or no, it's more like you will happen. <laughs> will happen, right. <laughs> it will happen. <laughs> but there's no guarantee that it will. No. There's no. no. And then 
I'm going to keep going. I don't want to terrorize you on the topic, bro, but I'll keep going, okay? So the next level of that is now you believe that you know what punishment is. So someone gets – someone kills someone, and you say you deserve to die or you deserve life in prison. Well, Either this way, person the already life. decided they wanted to die. Was it a punishment? Hmm. Did karma take play? If this person was like, I already hate myself. I was going to kill myself that morning. Instead, I took my AR, shot up four Mexicans at a, at a store on a race crime, and then I killed myself. Yeah. It was karma at play? He won. You see, so so mm-hmm. now you're yeah. deciding also that someone received the adequate punishment because you think that would be punishment to you. But this person was already homeless getting molested at home. So he doesn't care about going to jail for 20 years. It's it's no worse than home. Mm. You think you got your punishment. You didn't get yeah. nothing. Yeah. See, so it's the, just, I've just, just got so chaos. many levels of once. It's like people don't pick up. I'm just saying people don't pick apart karma how they pick apart religion. And they should. And they should. That's all I'm saying, guys. So I we're... know it's not the popular thing to say. Yeah, I, I, know. It's... I know that people don't say that. And everybody believes in it. But I'm just saying consider the fact that it might not be real, guys. It's a it's a religious concept. It. It's a religious concept. In my mind, it's a religious concept, and I mean that's, I mean so like it's it's really just comes down to what you would believe spiritually. It's all about what you you believe spiritual spirituality doesn't mean necessarily like you're achieving some type of higher power, like you're achieving higher consciousness or achieving anything. To me, in my mind, spirituality runs along the same lines as like philosophy, where like right. you're like you're talking like this idea of like okay, what's philosophy? Well, it's really just how about how you think about life and how kind of like you think life plays out in a grander scheme of things i love when you read my mind like that right to the next topic is exactly how it goes into things right so in my opinion in my mind right or wrong i told you bro i've been thinking too much in my mind i've eliminated the fact that karma might exist and it's a similar thing that they say for love love is not free will not a free will choice right it's not a destiny choice it's a decision I can, I can easily decide to not love you. When I decide to love you, I decide to do all the things that involve love. It's a decision. It's not a feeling. And I think it's the same thing when you're talking about jumping in front of the bullet here. What if – okay, well, what if nothing? What if it meant sit it all aside? It didn't mean bullet might go through you. It might hit this girl. It might blow your head off. Might bullet might have missed. You might get nothing good from this. You might get everything good from this. You set it all aside. Mm. Okay, well, me, I still want to make that decision as a human of who I'm experiencing, mm. right, to yeah. do that. Yeah. It's a decision. It's not karma. It's not I did a good favor for this little girl. You didn't do nothing for that little girl. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you understand? What, you see what I'm saying here? Mm. Yeah. In the yeah. timeline, yeah. eliminate the karma. You didn't do nothing for her. You, on your human experience, decided what you wanted to do with it, and that was what it was. It didn't play into anything else. God didn't put you there that day. You didn't make the karma decision. You didn't make the logical decision. You did Hmm. what you wanted to do that day, and that's how you affected things. And it doesn't mean that it changed the course of this girl's life or it changed the course of how your life was going to play out. It could just mean nothing. It could yeah, just mean yeah. you chose it could just be, what you wanted to do, and it, it doesn't. It doesn't change the ripple effect of it. Anything. Could it could just be the chaos and order of the universe? You know, and that's it, what that's what it kind of like like does a does, does a bubble count? Like like think about how small you are to the universe, right? You're a bubble on the top of the ocean. Now picture every time you look at the ocean, you see a bubble pop. You don't look at it like murder. You no, could be. No. You could just. You think that everything you're doing, this big alter and decision, everything. I in front of this bullet, is changing this big course for you. But it could just be bubble pop, bubble pop, bubble pop. And karma and religion and everything that you think is important really isn't existing. Yeah, it you could. Just chose yeah. what you want to do with that little heartbeat. Yeah, I you're think you're another heartbeat or whatever it is. Maybe you don't get another one. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, you know, and, um, you know, like I think like that. The idea that, like, really, in reality, with how all this kind of like plays out, is that one of the things is that it could literally, because of the way we, the way we try to describe things here, it literally could be any fucking thing. 
It literally could be. We could be a we could be a germ on an alien's ass. You could be like it, like literally like the 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 overarching like of what this whole experience is as a human. Not, I, I you think give, give me a solid answer on that though. I know we've talked about it many different ways, but like, where are you, where are you officially standing? So you said like you've grown on the on the concept of God, but like let me like I don't want to keep asking you questions with it, but picture this, okay? So. God, you said that yeah. you believe you're yeah. growing on the concept of God. When I say God, yeah. what's the first thing popping in your head? Do you see a man? Do you see a soul? Do you see energy? Do you see the universe? Do you see a like? It has to define as something. You can't just. It's almost a scapegoat to be like, you know, like uh, what's well, it's God or it's the universe. It, it, you kind of have to define it more of what do you see? Sometimes when I'm writing lyrics, I always say he or his when I'm talking about God. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yeah, should yeah. I be saying that? Yeah. That doesn't really make sense. In my opinion, I don't see him as a man, but it's not hard for me to see him as a man. It's just as easy to see him as a woman. But yeah, you yeah, see yeah. Something. So yeah, you know, I mean, like, so, and, but that, that's the thing with me with God. You know, and like, what I don't like about God is like, I generally, generally, what takes me when like that's the thing with with God. It's just it's so tainted of a term to me. The the it just it's so tainted. The first that pops in my head is some type of like depiction of like what we've defined famously as what God is. You know, um, what do I want to call it from there? Not really sure outside of that, you know, you know, like what, what I see though is like, it's, I guess it would be almost as like a, like a, like an essence, you know, it's a, it's because I mean like, you know, this go to the next level. Let's just take a next, second. Even if it takes you a level. second, just think about it. Yeah. That's, that's what, about yeah, it for a yeah. so, okay. So I'm with you. Let's just write it together. It's an essence. What does that mean? Does that mean – because to me it's like, well, an essence could be a neutron, but an essence can be copper, but an essence can be a galaxy cluster, but an essence can be the Van Halen belt. You, it's so, yeah, but, but, the same but thing see, it's everything. But see, this is the thing but, though. But this is the thing though. Like, you know, it's, it, you, it's like we as people like what try to define it in of what we know. It's like you can't – you could imagine something, but it's like you can't make up a dream face. Like you're saying your dreams, like you just only see what you see. So like – as a as an overall conscious human, the idea of God could even be a nothingness. There could literally be it, it, we could this could just the be a space of, of matter. The you know? existence of we could, right. there could be no overarching deep sounding thought to what this could be. It could right. be an absolute. I think so. Like it's with, hard with God, to picture. so so what? So when I think of God. You know, it's hard to put it into me. I don't put it into like a man figure. You know, I don't put it into like a woman figure. I don't look at like a planet. You know, it's like it's it's almost like uh like how you would look at like lava flowing. It's like a you know there's, it's there's a something there. It's just kind of right. like a a thing. You if you put it into a cup, well, it's gonna form to that cup. So you, so you believe though that this push to form you? Yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not gonna sit well, here. Hard. I'm not gonna sit here and like. You know, to and me, the, it's what, hard to say that this is everything and every essence. Yeah, no, yeah, no, and, and, that, and that's, but, but that's the thing. To you. Yeah, you know, like that's the thing. Like you know, like the the thought. You know, there's no for me. There's no like hard, concrete, defined thing of like like any of what this is. I Dude, I felt. That's but not this, but this is on this deep. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that's so like so when you're trying to like explain it, you know, it's like you know, like what you're trying to like look for, like. I give it this, to me this idea. It's like it's like almost like a, like a plasma. It's almost like a, like a uh, like 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 I said, like you you, it ha it's it's hot like lava. Has that energy source to it. It has that that real energy pulsing off it so much, almost so much to where like it has like a heat. And it's yeah. like you know so yes. and like and then, I then take that, and I put it into a mold of a wine cup and it's like well that's that's what it could be like you could absolutely that's a good you know, way of you know what I'm saying it. like you could like f that's what's going to mold to here's here's all I'm offering on that and I'm not saying I'm right we're just talking we're just talking theories it's just something I've been thinking it's of it's just thinking about things yeah right is this is this say okay all that agreed bro great way to put it now picture that but god doesn't know who you are god isn't tracking your every mm -hmm. move and you don't have a destiny yeah you're just Got you. an effect mm. of that. You're just that wine glass. That wine glass has no destiny to be broken or not. If you threw it against the wall, was that its destiny? You know what I mean? It's such a thrown around word. Maybe things are just happening. Yeah, and, into whatever. Happen. Yeah, into whatever. Like this, the 
you could tomorrow, like, a comet could hit this fucking planet, and we could we could survive and explain that comet, you know? But we're never going to be able to, like, it's like, as a human, you're only able to pan out so much on a camera. So, like, your camera zoomed up on this. Well, when you're pulling it back and you're peeling this back, you know, as like as like a human brain looking through whatever eyes these may be, whatever eyes that are filtering through this physical world, whatever way my brain is thinking of these things, like there's a, an ultimate limit to like what we can pan out and like understand. So like when you try that's and define that's, things, I, I've been yeah. thinking that too. So, though. Yeah, but that's, that's it is, it's, it's, it. it's not it's not a definite thing though. You know what I'm no. saying? Like I don't want to put like, uh, like hey, this can, is can like, we. Can humans uh, put it there, put, perceive, co- comprehend yeah. everything? Yeah. Could could they even fathom? Could, we, they even right. could they even fathom a god like entity? If, right. You know, like I, I like that's why like I like how we have a species. That's also what kind of makes us like. It's what kind of makes us who and like what we are as people. It's like we're. The brain that we use, it's almost like an Instagram filter where we apply it and it filters through it. The real world comes in, but then it filters through the eyes, the mouth, the ears, and come, and then it is picked up by the brain on a, on a different type of like, like on like a, like a different type of scale that that's limited by what your brain is physically. It's like a computer is limited by its hardware, where like our brain has that same hardware. No matter how infinite it may be, right. we may be locked into what it may be. Let you me, know, as you're being this, shaped. Though, you know? Seen the other day. 160 new genes found in humans. Hmm. It's believed to be the proof that humans are still evolving. And though they might be like, as they define a micro gene, so they're like small changes. Mm-hmm. I was just saying we didn't listen to the vibe. Oh, yeah, but we're yeah. good before we want, yeah. so I hope so. I just shared it. Didn't even think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I a heart, yeah. Drop a, yeah. <laughs> like, we can't see if somebody comment. If I, uh, well, you hope somebody would comment. Yeah. That's the thing, but it might not affect anything in the dark scheme of things. Yeah. And God is is God imposing your free will? Does God impose on your life? Yeah, you know, and sometimes, sometimes you know, like I, cause I, cause I, I fall, I feel like I flip flop because I, at times I feel as though I'm just completely out of control. I'm just at mercy to what this universe is, whatever how small this event might be. You know, like the it feels like the force of control I have over it. I'm just at the mercy of the current and the ocean type of deal. Like, you just feel like you're soaring. Why are we so victimized by wanting to feel the control? Right. So, so, like, so why, why do we so, want to feel under? You know, like, like, uh, like people love being like, "Oh, that number came out. I seen that earlier. I was gonna play that." Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were never in this. In God's eyes or Destiny's eyes, you were never playing that. But you want to feel that, like you can see these things coming, right? So even when you think about like something like deja vu or. Oh man, I thought that was gonna happen. You're like, he's gonna throw a pick. He throws a pick. Mm-hmm. There's a chance if things are just going down in life, he to throw yeah. a pick right there. Yeah, and to th- it's almost more crazy to think that God intercepted on your life for that one football play than to think about he just didn't throw a pick right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But which side will we go on? Oh God, man, I never win. I'm unlucky. Not you're at the mercy but of the what this universe are, is. The chances are, given how the odds are, right, you could flip a coin 100 times, and I could lose 100 times. Yeah, no matter the if odds are 50-50, mm-hmm. yeah. I could lose every single time. Yeah, It's known, but you never expect to lose every so, time. Has not, now, has not one person flipped a coin 100 times and never won? It's never happened? No, it happens. Things happen when you just got molecules and bubbles popping on the surface. Everything's going to happen. Every single thing you can imagine will happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, think I don't... it's that much of a... Well, I, I think, you know, like, that, I think that's where we get into, like, when we're talking about this type of particular idea, I think we get into, like, a very much, like, a very much less romantic idea of how you kind of think. It's, like, almost like you're taking off rose-colored glasses type of deal, you know? What it's I like, tell you, bro? You know, what like, if I pull karma? It's, it's, what will you have left, Steve? We. What would you do tomorrow? You pull karma. Do tomorrow? If I pull karma, I eliminated karma from your head tomorrow. I already, elim- I already eliminated God. Mm-hmm. I already eliminated karma. I already re- eliminated everything else that goes with it. So what, now, what, 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 what's up tomorrow? What do you? What would inspire you to do good? 
What would make you believe that if think, you went out here and did good, good would happen to me? I think you're that, – well, that's the thing. Like, you know, I think I think the idea – it's a it's a belief that, like, good – because, I mean, like, you can still commit good and not expect anything. You know, I think people would still commit good and not expect anything. You know, would it be significantly less? Yeah, possibly. It probably would be significantly less. Sure. Um, but – the way I like to think, you know, how you know, feel about myself, like, you know, I, I feel like I have, you know, when it comes to, like, you know, just being nice and being kind and being it, good. It's, it's I mean, like, I'm romanticized to think about the opposite, right? Yeah, well, it's, well, like, it, well, it's, it's, it's not thing. beautiful to think about, like, somebody taking in a homeless person and, like, that's yes, in their yes. life around. Like, yeah, no, I just told you, like, yeah, that could happen anytime. There's nothing pretty about that. No, no, you there's nothing. Yeah, no, no, but that's the thing. Like, you know, like the way I feel is like I would still be kind to people. You would still be do nice things. You would still do all these things. Like you, it, it would come down to who you are as a person. You know, like you feel Did as you though. you agree that you're not in the position to give that opinion because it would literally turn your life upside down so you wouldn't even be who you are or have the mind you have if I took that away from you? Yeah, but I mean. There's no, no. way you're, you are who you are today if I eliminated that thought of karma from birth. You're a different person who did different things. But you're not born with karma instilled in your mind. I think at a very young age, karma is instilled in your mind, almost instantaneously. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I don't. Okay, well, one yeah. of the first things I was ever taught is you do what you want done to uh, what you do to others is what you want done to yourself. That's true. And That's true. The second thing I was ever taught is if somebody puts a hand on you, you put a hand on them. The yeah, first something thing yeah, I was ever yeah. taught was two. That's what I was taught too. Yeah, I was taught, I was taught to do right away. Yeah, but I mean, like, is that really, you know, I mean, like, but you, you defending yourself would be karma. Like, I understand the first one, but like, defend, whatever, I'm nitpicking there. But yeah, you know, I, I feel you, but like, you know. Explain how it's karma? Yeah. Uh, explain how it's karma? What, the second what? one? I mean, we're, like I said, we're it's getting nitpicking. We're taking like, away from the subject matter. We're taking away from the, su the main subject. You right, know? but let's just say, let's just, let's just say, if I told you it's woman. What, defending yourself? If I, if you, I told you, right, hits, oh, oh yeah, well, it's just defending yourself. But if I tell you it's a woman, you're not supposed to hit him back because you believe in karma and you think it's wrong to hit a woman. Yeah, but just because you believe something is wrong, it doesn't mean it's intertwined with karma. We may be okay, in a, in a society. I, I Listen, hold up, hold up, yeah, hold up, hold up. Yeah, see, yeah, hold up. So like the the thing is like the like it it is definitely intertwined in our society, you know. But things can exist without it. You know, I think I think people will still go out and still want to be good and do good things without ever expecting anything to return. And, and you know, it's, and well, it's beautiful am, for you to think, I, bro. But you also agreed that one hundred percent of people you ever met in your life lived by karma and yeah, agreed yeah, yeah. that there was karma. Yeah. So if I told you there was no karma, it would literally turn everything that you've ever known about the world and the known universe upside down. True, very true. So very to true. say that anything would happen after there was no karma would really just be really ludicrous because you can't even picture a world without it. Yeah. Everything even, you've ever known and, has and involved even, karma. Even you saying that that couldn't exist without karma, you know? Even past that, like it's all, it'd all be speculatory. It'd all be like what you just what right. you would personally think about what would happen. Right. You know, I think the way. I, so again, I think it would go back to how you feel about. Do you think you control who you are, and like you are who you are instead of reacting to it? Do you think you were innately born a good human? Do you think you were just taught to be a good human? Did you think you just learned to be a good human? Well, well, my opinion would be that the origin of karma, you know, might even came outside of religion. Just a fact of simple truth, right? If I kill your daughter. I then have to expect you would kill my daughter. So if you come kill my daughter, karma. Yeah. That, I mean, that's literally how it's described, right? It's like eye for an eye. That's karma. Yeah. So yeah. It's a natural thing also that's supposed to happen, but I think it's really been romanticized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. believe like you do no wrong, no wrong will come to you. And it's just not true. Yeah, no, no, 100%. You know, 100% not, not true at all. But I also do believe like innately to, you know, some people's cores, you know, you, you're probably a good person. You probably wouldn't steal, you know. Now, if we're talking now, again, this world, this world you're talking about could be uh, the epitome of just straight tribalism where it's like, well, survival of the fittest. Well, I steal because I'm stolen from okay. and we need to survive, you know. So, ask, like, uh, okay, so let me ask you this. If I do no bad, but I do no good, am I a good person? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I don't think you could ever live at true neutrality. You know? I don't think that's a, that's not I mean I think you an example. It, Yeah, I think if, if that was the case. If that if that was the case, you know, I mean like I, cause I mean 
in my mind, like you want to be friendly, you know. You want like you're not gonna smile at nobody, like you know what I'm saying. So right, like you're but, probably not, okay, so probably not is, good. You and probably me, pretty boring. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> probably this pretty is, boring. <laughs> this is my only belief because you've interpreted that people that do good things, are, are you know, or have done good things are good people. That that's why. No, no, no. All the time, you know. That's uh, like to say the one is, is not to say that like the other is like completely true. I think they're they're both both happen. There are people that do good for whatever personal advantages they want. Okay, so you know? how come? When but you, you think you think it's everybody? You said, is nice. How come you just said you picture people who don't do good things as like that mean person? I call mean. I say you're not. I say you're not, I say a, good not a good person. Say you're not a good person. You know, like you I mean so like if you're not a good like, person. You're just you're probably pretty boring. Things. You know, and yeah, you're, probably you're not just a good just, person yeah. because you don't do good things. But I tell you, I come to Steve and I say, bro, I don't believe in karma. Yeah. Okay. So I don't go out here doing no good, but I don't do no bad. Why? Why couldn't I easily come to you as me and tell you that? And you you're gonna go well. You know, you're you're probably a bad person. I say you're probably a bad person. So you're probably not a good person. Why do you keep dancing around? You yeah, can yeah. say that. Yeah, you're probably not a good. Well, what, so like, what, good what makes a good person? So what, what makes a good person? What makes a good person? What is what is lacking? Well, that's where we're going. Bad, that's where we're going, bro. So you're, like, so but it's the thing. So like, so that someone that doesn't believe because we don't live, we don't live in neutrality. We don't live in neutrality. You simply do not live in that means. It simply does not exist. You say no matter what, somebody's always bad or good. Yeah. Yeah, you think there's a you, neutral person? No, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what that is. You you want to find no. someone in the middle? What I'm you saying know? is there. <laughs> I think if this is like what I, listen, this is all not refined. What I'm trying to say is maybe it doesn't lean one way or the another. No matter what somebody does, it doesn't matter who does what. Maybe it doesn't make them a good person because they do good things. Well, it well right? it doesn't. Okay, yeah. so if someone does bad things, it doesn't make them a bad person. No, it doesn't. But in, inherently, when you I tell you some, this guy does not do good things. So you do. You initially think so, that like he's probably a dickhead, or he's probably someone you you said. That's the opposite. That's, that's the opposite. How, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you're trying but somebody, to. But you only so, think that because you're th assuming that everyone around here believes. They should do good things. Okay, Not but so then, believes so that. then, how would you define that neutral position? How would you define it? You know, so is it undefinable? Saying. You're saying there's a neutral. I'm not saying there's a neutral because I don't believe there's one way or the other, bro. And I, so then, I, I shouldn't say I believe, right? It's yeah, all just a yeah, thought. This yeah. is all spontaneous. And that's why. But I'm saying this picture. There's no circle at all. No circle at all. And rather, you did a thousand good things. One good thing didn't come to you. And yeah, that but that, but that's the thing. You that remove mean, that. Remove that though. Remove, remove that. Okay. Listen. So listen. Listen. You... Listen. 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 But but you you help someone with the groceries. It's not a good thing. Or is that so? Then we live in this I'm world not, without I'm it. Not it's not a that. good I'm thing. Not arguing that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. All so like, I'm saying is it's very funny. I'm not even arguing nothing. I'm just saying it's very funny how naturally I would agree with you too. When you think about someone who doesn't do good things, you picture them as a bad person. You see what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I get, I get but that. But it doesn't mean that. We disagreed that not all good people do good things. You see what I mean? So, yeah. So what what transpires that thought in your head? Karma. No, 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 no. Because because I think I, I think at, at the core of people, you know what I mean? Because I think I think regardless, you take karma out of it, you can you can have a good and bad world without the idea that things come around at some point. You know, you still do a thing that's nice. Well. I've, well, what's what's then what's the niceness? What's then generosity? What, what are these Steve, things then? Steve, you know. So let me ask you this: Do do animals in the animal kingdom do things that are nice? It, I mean, it's I don't not, know. Not, I don't know. Not Probably not. You know. Not Probably unknown. not. It's you not know. Unknown. We see things that are certain, like you. That looks adorable. We see that. But what's ninety nine percent of it? Is brutality, bro. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. brutality. Yeah. So and so when. Um, listen. They, yeah. So they they glorify <laughs> they, they glorify these animals, right? Because they don't harp over previous experiences. That's a lot. A lot of what well, people say. They you can say that, that, bro. There's only three three species that I know of that have ever shown sign of even mourning. Then, but that's the thing. So, so then, so, so they say that like when these animals move on, they move on to the next day, bro. They don't think about they got hunted. They don't think about who they hunted. They don't think about they were injured. They don't. They don't harp over what happened. 
So in my belief, it's because they don't have that illusion of karma. They just believe I'm doing, I'm existing in this planet, on this world. There may not be no good or bad. It's just I'm going throughout my day in the way that these atoms play out. Anything can happen. Yeah, I'm yeah. not do anything. I don't owe anything. Nope. I'm not owed anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But, but we but, everybody you know lives under the illusion that that it exists, bro. Yeah, and so then but like so then I guess my question to you is that does that idea of karma throughout what would be good and bad? Like that does that throw it away? Like you you would still like I said, I, what what do, would you call in that world does throw out karma? What would you call then? That, I like, think you know what I'm saying that like you, you want me to get truthful. You you, want me you get would go honest, and like bro? help somebody like we're living like because I mean if if we're not in a world of survival or tribalism, if you take us to tribalism, we're no better like we're in no way different than those goddamn animals we feel over there. You know, it's just all about survival. Okay, it's all about living this progressive. Okay, you know? but so so you're better than the animal, right? No, 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 no. no. That's no. basically what it no. implies. No. No, 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 I no, no. Have no, said no. it like that. No, I, that's why I avoided. That's, that's why I avoided you know? saying like it makes you better. No, it, it, okay, just, so, it just, it just so the idea. You, are, once you, you boil it down to tribalism, same... once you boil it down to tribalism to survival, then that that, that goes out the window with humans. You know, there's no. Okay, well, my argument who lives, would be if you remo- if you removed karma, you might not have elderly. You might not have borders. You might not have as many countries you wouldn't have as many people you might not have special needs people you wouldn't have trans people you wouldn't have amputees you wouldn't have any you know any weak person you would have exploitation of resources times 10 you would have you know probably climate change times 10 yeah i think that everything on the evil side as we perceive good and bad would be enhanced times 1000 because inherently you care about your self interest. So why? As why? We all do. Well, here, think he's about just, this. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Truth, here's, no, here, no, here, no, here. here. This is the thing. So let's think about this then. So you say right there that um, without karma, evil would then be times ten. Why? Why would that be if good people didn't commit the same things that evil did because they then thought that evil would then come to them type of deal? Do, do why you, would? Does it? Uh, you know? I, I don't know. Right? Audio these magnify. Are all, these are all just thoughts, right? Look at the animal kingdom. Does an animal that doesn't kill not get killed? doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. Instead, you see the opposite. The ones that can't defend themselves are the most preyed upon, right? And we've talked about this before with the Wild Wild West. How they take those people in? They came in with numbers and guns. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they took what they wanted, bro. They yeah. pressed it well, upon. I, yeah, think well, I, mean, a, I think there's a brutal, a brutal brutality that would show itself is that – I've told you many times, but I think that how you feel inside and how I feel inside, because I'm with you, right? Yeah, you feel the yeah, same way. Yeah. Like, we're not going to do that, people. I think it's a rarity, brother. I think even – if I told you how many evil people do you know on a day and you told me, I don't know, maybe like 20% of the people I know might be bad, I would tell you that's 80% that you think is good. Half of them are probably faking it. Mm-hmm. I think most of the time, oh, yeah, if yeah. you give these people – so so all of this shit that you base upon, like this person's a good person, bro, where they're good in, upon this world. But let's see if you get that man to learn in the middle of the woods with an oh, attractive yeah. woman if people, he would try to rape her. People would change. 100%, bro. I think true colors see, will show. So, so you, know? so you but just like, really understand the magnitude yeah, of yeah, what but, I'm saying is – is if you it's, remove it, it's like people it, have no barrier. The only reason you want to stop somebody from, from drilling oil is because you believe we're killing the earth. The moment that I tell you whatever you do has no effect, you will not care that someone drills in the oil anymore, bro. That wouldn't change the fact of like any type of like pollution or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I think people would still care. You know, I think people would still care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, t- okay. I, I think I think it takes a hit. I think you're right. Listen, I think you're right on no, a lot of that. You know, but I think I think people. You're thinking about a different way. I'm telling you, people still care, but they will kill. It's brutality. Oh that yeah. Would okay. Solve. I got you. You see what I mean? I got you. Yeah. Because they don't. They're not like I gotta go through Congress and fight these bills and, no more. And you no, know, you think you're a billionaire and you get to drill where you want to drill? Well, my whole family will fucking take machetes to your home. And look, and look, no more and, and 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 that's the thing. You know, I think I think you know one thing that I think people do not want to face. You know, especially like because I mean, like to that level, I'm not sure. You know, but brutality. This this is a 100 percent a very a very brutal world. The one of the things that 
hampers us the most is our unwillingness to then stamp out what is affecting us the most. You know, that's like one of like the biggest things. It's like you got, it's like you got the goddamn infection but you just won't cut the shit out like that type of deal like it's like it's like a pacifism type of thing like it's like it's all like a pacifist type of metric but the like because you you wouldn't have to worry about disabled people because you probably would just get rid of them you wouldn't have old people because more people just probably just get rid of them like the idea that you owe anything anyone when you think about the famous thing i think it's okay they say from christopher columbus right he says what's the one thing keeping the poor from killing the rich Remember that quote? What is it? Religion. Hmm. So now we've eliminated religion in society, bro. Of course, a lot of people still believe in religion, but there's like more atheists and more agnostic and more of I don't know what it is, but it ain't that than there's ever <laughs> been, right? Yeah, like, for sure. For it's sure. The most ever. For sure. So what's the second tier that they have this illusion of you over? You think it's karma? The fact that if – oh, if I took a machete right now, if I picked a machete up and went to Pelosi's house or Mike Pence's house and put a machete in his head, I would be a bad person. That's not how you solve things. That's wrong. Eliminate karma. Hmm. This person is literally the most evil person in America. So if religion doesn't save him anymore, he's got karma because hmm. I'm a good hmm. person. He's not though. He's not a good person. He doesn't believe in karma. You think bad people believe that karma's coming? They don't believe that, oh, I fucked over 300 million Americans on a health care plan. You know, God's coming for me. They're they do fuck. not believe They're that. Fuck. <laughs> you believe that. You believe that God will take care of Mike Pence. But if they did it, you would have no problem being like, bro, okay, so hold up. So tomorrow, karma's gone, and me and you ain't going to work. Well, we're going to go stop. Because we're good people, right? What will we do? Well, we're not afraid to stop bad. Yeah. But the way we stop bad now is we got to pass a bill. And it's got to go through 10 years. But what if I told you right now, bro, do you think that, you know, this person, you know, is polluting the economy? Well, we can go to this house right now. There's no and, – and you doing that? Wouldn't cause you no effect into the timeline. Yeah, of, yeah. You see what I and mean? That's, it, that's like you that, think that we're gonna allow these people that's, to keep you know, being billionaires, bro? That's uh guillotines out front of their house. That's why you know, like someone like like Malcolm X was like so controversial, and you know, like he that was his ideology. And people, you know, the people there were people within the same movement that were against him because they were like, that's not how we win. You don't win that way. And then you have these beautiful quotes of like well you don't use light you don't use you know darkness to shun out darkness you use light use, you know, use been... every one of those examples where they come mm-hmm. from yeah. this yeah. is what i'm saying Stephen. Yeah. do you see what i mean mm-hmm. see, uh, i, I yeah. think that karma might be a, a whoop over your eyes brother and i'm not saying i'm i'm definitely now i'm just saying it's something i think about a lot i think it's it's we've all accepted it and this is oh, i'll tell you over and over bro. my sister used to always say it Look for what we all accept. Look for what they want to give you. Look for what they give you because that's what they want you to have. So the, it's like we're all sitting here like we figured out religion and God isn't real. But you believe in karma. Hmm. And you're just as full. Hmm. You think that would result in people, you know, kind of like okay. being able to like, okay. kind of like lie to themselves and – Thing well, as, as in, in the grander picture of like listen, the, the idea. So, so if you want me to explain my thought on it, this would tie into of how I explained on my second tier of it. We've decided what the punishment should be, right? In my eyes, rape is punishable by death. If I remove my thought of man, if I kill someone, I can't live with that. If I remove my karma side of it, I know someone was a rapist. I would kill them. We've decided if you rape someone, you do five years. Like roughly, right? That's like the given amount. Yeah, yeah. Five years. We've decided the karma. We've we've handed out what we think is deserving of the negative you put out. Yeah, and – Right? Yeah. What if I told you if I think if you dump the toxin into the water, I should put a machete into your head? I don't think it's any different. That's what I'm saying. Like I just think they've tricked you. Into thinking, well, 
Look, man, he made a he made a hundred billion dollars by polluting the world. Are you gonna say someone should be electrocuted for polluting pollution? No, but you'll say people uh, deserve for murder deserve to die. People deserve for this deserve to die. Uh, no, I think those people did die. We do. <laughs> oh, okay. died. You do right? Is that how it's defined in law? Is that? Oh uh, yeah, law? no, no. A uh, 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 a person so, that polluted oh uh, a person that yeah. polluted toxic waste. Into your water supply, Stephen, would get less time than someone that did a rape. Or even murder. All of this is involved around the perception of karma. Hmm. The fact okay. that you think you know how to punish an ex or an ex. Yeah. And you don't get that right, bro. You only get that right if I design karma. Without karma, I don't as a government, I don't get to impl- implement a judge. See, How see, would I see. That's the thing. This is where you humans. This is you where should be look, judged by a judge. This is where this is where I this is where I curve off because like I think you can still have that that structure without karma, car. Because because the idea that like we need to you know that justice needs to be doled out isn't just like it's like there's the idea of justice that isn't just like karma. Like okay, you get what's deserved for you, but like there's a consequence to actions that you pay. You know, it's not – you remove karma, I think we still decide, okay, you pollute people, well, you know, we're probably going to get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? I think karma okay. – you know what I'm saying? I think, okay. that, I think that's okay. still – that's where I diverge okay, right so there. You know? That's where I diverge. What's the karma, Stephen, for murder? Yeah, but like – so karma's the idea. Karma's the idea. It's not that – okay, what, what – yeah, I think you're using – I think you're using like, like punishment, justice, karma, but what, you know what I'm saying, like as like all interchangeably, but like I think they can exist all on separate. So like – the idea that people get punished, I don't think, I don't think has to solely be propped up on with karma too. You know, I think that can exist without karma. You know, we punish you because we we believe just, this is wrong. Just give me an answer. What do you think? Punishment for murder. Death. You die. You torture people. You get tortured. <laughs> an eye for an eye, right, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. So you believe in karma that it whatever you do, you should have done to you equally. So, so this why, is literally what listen, karma yeah, is. Yeah, but like why do you think that that can exist with with just karma? Why do you think it can't why do you think it can't exist solely on its own because it's just rooted in karma? You take karma out, we don't have that idea that you can do that that we punish people listen, for things that they shouldn't do. Someone stole 10 times. Someone stole 10 times from the village. In today's society, you steal 10 times from the city. They will prosecute you and judge you and give you a court trait for 10 times. Without karma, if that person stole a second time, I think he might be dead. They still get punished. I'm not saying this is how I would carry out things. I'm just telling you I think it would be a lot more of I don't owe anything to anyone. And whatever I do doesn't have any effect on anything. So if you're a bad person causing problems, I have a lot less tolerance for bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to carry the dead weight I now carry that I believe does me good in the afterlife, later in life, however you want to say it. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Yeah. So fuck it. Yeah. I'm not going to carry your grandma. I don't have a grandma. You know what I mean? I'm like, you carry your grandma. And if you can't, you're on your own. The only reason that makes me want to go, Steve, I'm going to help you with your grandmother. It's because I love you, right? That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But but how many people do these things and go, well, I would want someone to carry my grandmother. You see what I mean? So to me, that's what karma is. Is you expect, oh, well, somebody should carry my grandmother, so I'll carry a grandma. What I'm telling you is, I don't have a grandmother, yeah. and I'll carry your grandmother. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's no yeah. karma. Yeah, no, not at all. I'm making yeah. the choice. Yeah. I want to, as this human in this life, to do this for you. Yes, and your yes. With, I don't think that's very present in today. So I believe, like you said, if there was, if this didn't exist, karma didn't exist. I believe me and you would still be just good. Humans. Yes, yes. I can't say that with a straight face. I can tell you that if that didn't exist, I would be that. I don't know if anybody would. I think it eliminates so many moral values and how we handle in everyday society. That it would literally turn us upside down. Yeah, and yeah, you bro, might yeah. not be able to logically even one hundred percent would be one hundred percent, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying. I think sure, maybe, maybe. You know, but I think that's what that's what ultimately I think what what separates you know like karma with it being the idea that 
You good things, you do good things, good things come to you. You do bad things, bad things come to you. But the idea of justice, punishment for consequences, comes separate of what we decide what is right and wrong. Sure, things would definitely be upside down, you know. Um, but like, you know, I, I think, I think just like anything, just like society, just like humans, we would we would make it through, you know. And and I think if we didn't live in a world, it might be more just. You might have less of that bullshit going on. I don't know. You know? I can't actually you know? say because we we we've ran it around. Because we because we'd say that. Right now, evil is pretty doing pretty well, you know. Even with because we believe that they just had it. So if we didn't think that, we would then dole out our own justice. No, we would then stamp it out immediately. You know, there'd be no ifs or buts around it. We just stamp out. So we would might that be doing better. So we might be doing better. Okay, I see now. I see what you're saying now. You better might be doing better. Bad, it would play out a lot different. It would definitely play out a lot different. Yeah, it play out a lot different. You know. Right, like you're not gonna tolerate. And the I shit can't. You tolerate. Yeah, and and you're right. I I've. You can't say that you'd be good or that you'd be bad or that you would do this, that, or another, you know. You but don't know who you but you just <laughs> just know that you feel because you know, like I mean, how interact even 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 in this karma world, you know, I don't I don't help someone because I think you know what goes around comes around. You know, you that's not what plays in my head. You know, can, but you can't say that with a straight face. Let's be honest right now. We, we're grown men. Me and you are honest guys. You can't say that with a straight face. You I think, don't know subliminally or like subconsciously what's taking place. That's true. Right? That's true. You like, know, just that's like, true. The truth is, like, as I'm saying, bro, let's just be truthful, bro. Let's stop having these walls, right? The truth is, when you do a nice thing for an attractive female, you think you might fuck. These are truths, bro. It's like you're yeah, doing yeah, things but because they have underlying issues. There's, I there's uh, listen, no listen, bro. Listen, it. bro. I don't feel like you know, like yeah, there's there's definitely those in there, you know. But I don't feel like it's everything for me. That's just how I feel. I feel like I can say it with a straight face, bro. I feel like, you know, there are some things that I just help people with that I don't ever expect anything in return. I don't expect, like, you know, so literally, yeah, sure. Sure, maybe. I hope. Maybe, bro. I hope. Maybe, bro. You know, you, you, again, you know, maybe. Don't know. But, but th this is the way I feel, you know, like, I, I, you know, when I, when I, when I help someone, you know, I feel like I'm doing some good, you know, like, I just, I don't. I don't think that there's some type of like, you know, something coming back around. I don't think I'm owed anything. I don't think I'm, you know, it's everyone loves when you're recognized for doing something nice, you know, but, you know, like, and what, what I would I say that, like, you know, like, it's just, it's not what defines every day when I decide to do something good or when I decide to help somebody or when I, you know, it's not, it's not the forefront at least, you know, and I'd like to think that, you know, at least me personally, how I feel about these acts and how about doing good things. Yeah, you can feel taken advantage of, you know, but I feel like I really help and do nice things because I'm I'm nice, not I not it, any egotistical reason or I any I feel thing like that, way. you know. I feel 100% the same way. What I'm telling you is I know enough to know I can't tell you that with a straight face. And there's no way I could possibly tell you if life was turned upside down for me that I could give oh, you, no, you any can't. logical no, no. expectation or ex explanation of who I would be no, you can't, or no. how I would no. react. Nope. You sure couldn't. That's what I'm saying. You sure you couldn't, bro. I mean? Yeah. Let's move on to some other psych I've been thinking about. We beat that one. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Okay. So here's something I was thinking about. How many people <laughs> – this is attacking people today, right? How many people do you know do you think? Well, it's already like I – I guess I have to ask the question. I'm like, how many people do you think are happy? But then it would go into another line of what I'm trying to get to is how many people do you think when they had their child were, were satisfied with who they were or what they had done in life? <laughs> Man, I'm, right? I mean, like, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm not don't sure. Like yeah, I don't think so. So it got me to thinking about like just happiness and you're like, well, you would imagine that – these people weren't happy, right? They weren't at their, They weren't at what they expected happiness to be. Most, at least ninety nine percent, right? And then you have this child, and what do they all say? What's the best thing that ever happened to them? Their child. Well, you already were unhappy. <laughs> So it's almost to me, I was thinking, very dangerous that you were an unhappy person, you had a child, 
And then it's almost like you put your happiness expectations into your child. I, uh, it's a good time. I mean, we don't have children, so it's a good time to talk about, right? Yeah. What do they all say when we say, what's your dreams? Well, I want to do what's best for my kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're hoping that their kid's happiness equates to their happiness. They've now given up on their idea of happiness, bro. They weren't happy when they conceived a child. Mm-hmm. They now want this child to go achieve things that they didn't achieve in order to achieve the happiness they didn't achieve. And I, I could be wrong. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, bro. It's just something I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just yeah. – I think that – because you know how I got to this? I was like, man, like I've really been down, bro. I was like, I'm going to get like a cat or a dog. Well, why would I do that? I would do that because I already am unhappy. And now I would expect for this creature – to bring a happiness to me. That's why I got it. That's why I had it. And I would say, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, you have to be the best thing that happened to me because I put these expectations on you to lead to my happiness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. It, 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 yeah. it's dangerous, Yeah, bro. and, I mean, like, you know, the, the one thing is, like, that I talked, you know, well, like, the one thing I thought about and the one thing I kind of ran down, you know, when I, when I lost my, my pet and I thought about, you know, adopting another one, it's like, I wouldn't – you wouldn't – you don't want to just get something for for it being like a puppy. You don't just want to get this – you don't just want to get this dog. Like you – I want to be able to offer something to the animal, you know. I don't want this animal to try to bring something to me because I feel like with my dog, that's what my dog brought to me. He brought me happiness. So when I thought about getting another animal, well, I thought about giving it – you know, trying to, you know, be, just giving that back almost, you know, like, I guess that same idea, but giving it back, paying it forward almost like you would go get like a senior dog or something, you know, like this, this dog's like going to pass away in a shelter type of deal. And just, you just go love this dog, you know, like what, what's this old dog bringing into you? You know, it's like two years like you don't know the dog. You get to know the dog. You just wanted to be able to like, hopefully pass comfortably, not in a uh, shelter somewhere type okay. of deal. Okay, so let you know? me let me understand. Let me explain to you how I've been processing that emotion, right? Because I think I, I think I took it a different way, and it might not be a healthy way. It, it really might not. Hmm. Be. Let's see. So I know they say, bro, and don't beat me with a cliche of like you can't hold on to that. Yeah, you yeah. gotta let it go. Don't beat me with it, mm-hmm. right? So you know, everybody's different. But for me, it's like, man, I realize like I'm very vulnerable. I, I'm very vulnerable and acceptable. I was talking about this before, like with women, like I could easily let you in and just want to give you the world, bro. Right? To, and I started thinking about like I have to accept that like this is who I am as a human being, okay. and I have to be aware of like my own flaws. And, and try to improve upon that, okay. right? So, yes, yes, you think about that with an animal. You're like, I want to do this for an animal. But I also know how much I love an animal, how much I will become one with them. Yeah, and it's the same thing with future friends and future relationships. I know how gullible I am. To think that you could be my new best friend. You could be my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I've accepted it, bro. I'll You could show me the worst human being. And I'll tell you how this how I found love in this person. I'll tell you. I'll find a way, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll fuck my whole life up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> doing it. it was, so I've just, I realized, yes, I would love to do that for an animal. But for me, I feel like I have to be a lot more protective. Of, of what I let into my life and how much I invest into it. Because I can't have anything in my life that is going to be 50%. And I can't do the 50. I'm going to go 150. I'm going to overdo it. And I know this now. So I'll only lead to let myself down unless that was being matched. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, and you, and you believe, okay... Well, I mean, I, this is the thing. I'm not, I would, off the jump, you know, I mean, as it sounds. You know, it sounds like you can 
it sounds like it's pretty unhealthy. You know, it sounds like you kind of have this wall up. You kind of been, you know, I mean, of course. I mean, like I said, I said, it was no, 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 bro, no, bro, no, bro. You know, I think it's it's a it's a result of trauma. I think the one thing with the wall is like what you're describing. It's in the now. I don't I don't think you can bet on yourself being that you that you in the future. You know, I think you you know you think you feel differently. But I know like that I am susceptible to this. I feel like you know. I'm gonna always give you more love than could than could ever be matched. Yeah. In any in any that's how I feel. And I might be wrong. I could totally be wrong. But that's how I personally feel on the inside. And bro, if I get to know you, I will get to love you. And there's no there's almost no I'm telling you, bro, like there's almost no way for me not to love a human being. Like, yeah. I told you before, like even when I see these bad things in people, I'm like, that's adorable. Like it's so cute that you built these little defense mechanisms to defend yourself. I, I would, I'll swear, brother, you show me the worst human, I'll be like, this is what they do good. It's just, I, I, I yeah, so, know that I will do that. Yeah, and I think you people know, I, just fuck you over, bro. Yeah, and the, the, the way I, the way I just feel about you know, I mean, there's. There's like like healthy and he- unhealthy things, and it's just all about like what you do with it. I remember back then you asked me, you're like, well, what's the what's the right amount of time? I'm like, well, what's it to you? I'm mean, like, you're telling me like, what if I go out tomorrow and do it? I just I'm over it. I'm just like, well, you know, like it, we can act in that healthy way, but like, yeah, I mean, like if it's fine, you know, like you know, like this idea that there's a over like it's like the same thing where we think about like it's, now that I'm thinking about like you know I'm kind of attached to the, the karma conversation where like we're thinking about it. <laughs> no, hey, listen, we're we're thinking about it and. We have all these preconceived notions of like what these things should be. We have preconceived notions of like how you should handle, uh, you know, nasty breakups, traumatic life events. You know, that's why you say those cliches of just like you let it go. That's not that's no no because that we we all know that not to be the case. That's why I've now realized when people talk about like toxic positivity, that's what that is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's uh. It's slapping a bandaid on. We're not really getting to the root of what none of this is. Right. It's like, hey, you. That's why I'm saying. You know you gotta get me. by. You Don't know you gotta let go. It. Yeah. And another thing I remember us talking about. I remember um. It was still early on. I remember it's like, well, you got you have to feel those feelings. You're like, what does that mean, Steve? I'm like, well, like, <laughs> you're sitting here thinking about it. you riding your head over it. I mean, like. Don't you think everyone does that? Yeah, but you know? we were talking about like, you were like, you know, you've got to process these feelings. I'm you like, feel well, Steve, tell me how to process a feeling. I don't even – first of all, I don't know how to teach that. I don't know what that I is. I don't. I don't. Right? No, and maybe there's people on this planet that know how to do that. Mm-hmm. I yeah. personally yeah. do not so. – I can think about it. If you want me to think about it and feel it, I can do it all day long. But I can't tell you personally that I process these feelings. Is, and now – and, and that, that means they're done. Is that – that no, 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 no. But it, to me, isn't that what the processing of feelings is? Is just what, but feeling and thinking about them? Could there be an unhealthy way to do that to where, like, you drive yourself in a hole and, like, you're depressed set and you, like, turn yourself, like, suicidal type of deal? Like, sure, but. What I'm saying is when you imply that process them, to me that implies that there be processed. Uh, That there be done. No, 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 no. Right? That that I'm going to feel these and then I'll get over these. And that's not not what takes place. I used to feel... And still feel like, uh, like I abnormally allow things to like hold much more weight than they need to, and that goes for like you know smaller things to even some of the larger ones. Um, and I wonder if that's if that's if that's if that's the natural case or if that's just how things are meant to be felt. Like I've ne- I've never had like insane like trauma if you want to compare traumas, but like. You know, there's not one thing that continuously re- reoccurs in my mind where it's just like, oh, like that, that, that trauma, it comes back. It never goes away. People yeah. tell you that. There's ways to live with it, I guess. So, but. so let me explain, right? So I was thinking about this too. Is like, like I told you, I'm not depressed. I have trauma, right? So you have this trauma and you're like, okay, well, you, like, I feel like the, like, you know, when you talk about depression, okay, well, obviously there's levels to depression. 
depression to me though is something that you you can get you go over it's like waves right it comes and then like you're okay and then you're it's like and of course there's severe depression things like that yeah, that yeah. different levels but like the trauma <laughs> the trauma never goes away there's so, a reason why you call it that yeah you know? <laughs> right so like i said you know in the beginning it's like i used to always think like definitely be a person where I will always think like, man, we, you know, this good thing's going to happen. If there was no karma, it would still be good. More people would be good. Always felt like that. Still feel like that. Okay? Yeah. But the difference is if the contrary happens, bro, I'm no longer surprised. Mm-hmm. Before, if you fucked me over, it's like I could never believe that Steven would do that to me. Mm-hmm. No longer surprised, bro. I expect for you to do good mm-hmm. by yeah. me. I want you to do good no. by me. You fuck me over, I'm no longer surprised. This is where I struggle because, you know, like, I think about it myself. And, like, really what I have to rely on is what's been taught and what you kind of, like, been, you know, taught to. And, you know, with my conversations with you, like, you know, when we have a trauma where, like, you know, it really it really sticks around. It's things that really pop in your head. They all, Like, you could be moment, momentfully, like, in the moment, you'll just not even be thinking about nothing but drinking wine. And then randomly, you're just like, damn, you know, that, that trauma comes back and hits you. So... The only thing, like, when people tell, like, when people talk to me about it, when, the way I go about it, the way I try to talk to them about it is, like, look, this is, I don't try to just give, like, a, like, uh, like oh, you just live with it. You just kind of have to, like, I, the only thing that really people could offer is, like, okay, well, like, this is, I think, how we, you know, talk about and think about these things. But, like, at the end of the day, those things that happen with you in relationships ultimately define you as a person. It's just as much as human as you are. It's just as much about the experience as you are. And for us to sit here, it's like us making up diseases. It's like, oh, you're depressed. Well, now we kind of treat it. This is how you get out of that funk. Okay, well, you – that's an unhealthy coping me- mechanism, Mike. That's un- – that's – that's well, – who the f- – what the fuck is that unhealthy coping mechanism? What is that? They just say it's like, I guess, destructive behavior, but like – wouldn't that just be as human as anything else? Like it's, I mean, like you don't want people doing that, but you want to have conversations that try to like lead people away from that instead of just trying to really talk them off a ledge, like get them down. Like me and you talking about you hurting, like us, me trying to get your head off hurt, just might. It's just cliche. It's like what can I do to get your head off hurt? I should be okay, Mike. You cheer well, up, don't cry. Right, and then but we sit much, here. How much do I want to lie? How much do you want? Yeah. Right? You can how, intimate, how, much, how, much, how much intimate tell is the relationship me, tell everything? Tell me something. And if I don't want to analyze what you're saying and I'm actually just telling you something because I mm-hmm. want to hear an answer, yeah. give it to me. Yeah. And then I can literally take that yeah. and be like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But logic, like we said, when you're a smart person, bro, you don't want to hear that. No. And you also no. don't want to hear the contrary. Yeah, you know, somebody being like, oh, yeah, you really fucked up. Right? You. Why do you tell somebody something? Your trauma. Mm-hmm. You just want them to be. Put, you just want them to put yourself in that second, so somebody can understand you a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You want them to put yourself in those shoes for a second. So, so when somebody feeds you some bullshit of like, oh, well, be positive. It's like nobody said I was depressed. Yeah. I said I had trauma. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm processing things. I'm thinking about things about yeah. myself, and I'm trying to handle them. I don't need somebody to tell me, oh man, that's really bad. Or this is how you do good. Yeah, or this think, is what's good. It's. It, I think you just. I think the only thing is that you just, like you just really just have to talk to them. You know. I think. I think at the end of the day, you just have to. There's no script I can give you. You know, to any one single person that would be like, hey, this is going to help. But who do I want to talk to? You? you see what I mean? Uh-huh, like, yeah. You're not. Yeah. I, I'm telling you that. Like, I think I'm a logical person. I don't want to talk to somebody that's just going to feed me bullshit. No. I no, don't need no. somebody that's just going to sit there and tell me. How I did okay in every situation, yeah. how I need to let yep. it go, and how it's okay, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, don't need what that, I've, and you don't need somebody to sit there and bash you. Yeah, and what I've learned sometimes, sometimes, you know, people just really want want an ear. You know, they just want to be heard for a moment. They just want someone to listen and not provide any feedback. They really just wanted to get something off their chest. They weren't looking for an answer to ABC. They just really needed – they were holding something on tight, and they needed to let it out. Mm-hmm. And they let it out, and that was the that was what they needed to heal was to let it out. Yep. Not everyone. 
Not everyone, hundred percent. You know, not everyone. You know, there's. I don't think there's any one single answer of what works for people who deal with you know particular things. And then you, then I label it. Oh, now I'm telling you, you have bad habits and you have bad coping mechanisms. You don't cope with shit properly. This is how you do it. Like, like no, like come right. on, like who's like what the fuck? And it's we a have different experience. It's, it's just like if you were like, let's say you're hitting a bench and a dude comes over, he's just like, yeah, you're hitting that wrong. Like, <laughs> it's just like, it's just like come on, like, like and yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like when you talk about these things. So we'll get personal. You know, it's like most people tell you to like go out there, you move on. You start slaying some other things. You lived how you always wanted to live. Yeah. Because once again, you're implying your image on how I perceive how my life will play out. Mm-hmm. So you think that I was being held back. That what I was currently doing wasn't a self decision, and that I'd always been wanting to live this secret life, when it was never the case. Yeah. I was comfortable with what I had. I wanted that life, mm-hmm. and so I'm out. I'm out recently, and it's like you're. I'm talking to these <laughs> women, bro. It's 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 nothing. Like it's nothing. Like it's all about how much we're willing to lie to ourselves tonight. We both know what's going on here, but we can lie and do what we've done 20, 30, 40, You'll 50 justify fucking You'll times justify for these people and be like, you know what? Like we got drunk and this happened. But like you knew it from the beginning, from the moment you went out that night. Yeah. You yeah. knew like and like the shit just feels soulless, bro. Like you're seeing these women, you're like, okay, like I can be with you. But it's like the shit is no intimacy. There's real, no real raw feeling there. It feels so soulless. Like I'm just a complete joke and lie to myself of being like, I'm going to go out tonight and slay something. Yeah. What? And what? Yeah, and what? Yeah. Wake up tomorrow with the same sadness, if not more? And this, for me, it's I've never once been like, oh, yeah, I'm happy because I slept with this woman. Yeah. It's just a, it's a momentary patch. Never, bro. It's a momentary it's rush. Never. Get some dopamine. How long is that gonna? What are you gonna say next week? I'm still happy. Yo, you can bro, get over soon, your sadness bro, because as soon as as soon as you nut, you're sad again. Literally. As soon as you nut, you're sad again. <laughs> Sometimes you sad, you nut to bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know that's that's where like you know I think when when you're when people are are thinking about um, sex. Yeah, you know that this, thing. this is where you know people, I think, fill things with kind of like meaning, meaningless other things just to fill that void of like whatever you may be looking for. Like whatever people is. pile in. I mean, you could you could go any spectrum. Model airplane. This guy just got really into fucking pinstriping cars right after his traumatic breakup. Like, you, you come on. <laughs> yeah. like, just like, I, That's a good side of things, but you know, yeah, like drama, yeah. drugs. Yeah, but I'm sorry, any spectrum, <laughs> any part of it. You know, like people like. They, they, people cope differently, you know? People cope differently. People look for the drugs, or some people will just go into a habit and just focus and focus and focus. Okay. It's so, anything to get their minds off of that. I got one more theory I was thinking about for you. Right? I was thinking about personally. And I don't know, like, it, we've talked about a lot tonight. Like, you don't know how everybody else is thinking, you don't mm-hmm. know how everybody mm-hmm. else is feeling. Yeah. You're just thinking. Feel these things yourself. I don't know if people are... So many more people relate to you than you ever think. So you shouldn't think like that. Like I said, I'm trying to keep that positive side of things. But like, mm-hmm. if people didn't relate, it wouldn't surprise me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. no longer have that expectation that people are going to do good. Or will do good. I want them to. But I have no longer an expectation. It doesn't surprise me if they do bad. Okay. Yeah. You know? Okay. So I was thinking about like, like I told you, I got a lot of time to think to myself. And in these last couple of months, it's like I've realized a lot of my problems. And I can't solve them all. And I can't identify them all. But I can work, right, to progress towards it. And there were so many problems with myself, in my opinion. Like I said, this is all me just like in my own head. With so many problems with myself that like I was completely ignoring, bro. Right? 
And I was thinking, why was I doing that? Like, why am I now processing all of this? Why wasn't I doing this before? It's almost like I was looking for a bigger problem than myself. You know, hmm. like I, I didn't want to process these problems. Like, there's no de- I'm as much as I want to hmm. be the believer okay. of being like, bro. I don't care what happens to me. I'm gonna be good. I'll tell you it all day long. But like, when a lot of shit happens to you, right? Like, it obviously has an effect on things. Yeah. So, you get into like this relationship at a young age, bro, and you're not a grown man yet. You haven't really been alone with your grown man self ever. Mm -hmm. You finally are, and you start thinking about how, well, why wasn't I seeing these? I'm smart enough. I'm self-aware enough to be able to see these flaws in myself. Oh, I was so focused on fixing this other problem. Not even to say to a fault of the other person, but a fault of myself of being like, well, if I introduce this into my world, well, then this is what I work on. I can never be the bad guy if there's a bigger problem than myself. I'll always be the good guy no matter how bad I am Hmm. because I wouldn't found a disaster. You see what I mean? Com- the, the tornado There's, compared you, to a you head had, You had bigger fish to fry at the time. Just like, and, it and, just, whatever and you it was, made it the bigger fish. And whatever <laughs> it was, in my opinion, subliminally, it's a mm, possibility, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Is that I'm always looking for the bigger problem than myself. Hmm. So I never have to self-reflect and go, fuck, it's all adding up. You know, it's been a long experience of all these events, and it's all adding up on me. Instead, I can just go, what's the next project? Put your mind on something else. Put my mind on the next project. Put your mind on something else. On the next piece of my mind. Focus on. And the moment that that disappeared, that I became my own worst problem in my life, I noticed so much about myself, bro. You know, really did. Able to and, you, and you're and you're disgusted in ways. You just you can't you. I told I was telling you and Chris this before. Like you just you can't even see it when you're in that relationship. Still, you get out of it, and you realize so many disgusting things about yourself. Still, not to say that like you're the one at fault. I'm not saying that or like this is what it is. But mm-hmm. like you realize all of these problems, bro, that you never processed alone. You're a very smart person. Mm-hmm. Just like me, you think a lot, you process yourself. There's always been other outside interferences in your mind. Mm-hmm. It's like when you really sit there, hundred percent, solo, 100%. solo, bro. You think about it all alone. You realize so many like key factors that you would pa- that you were just you know passing over. Mm-hmm. You didn't even realize that yeah, these yeah. things we, you were doing mm-hmm. or that you need to work on. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, we were having a deep talk last time. You know, like when I was telling you, like, bro, like. If you really love this woman, go do it right now. If not, then you need to make a decision to stop doing it. Yeah, I, I yeah. think that's my biggest thing. Is like, it it it's like, instead you just sit in this middle ground of being like, well, who fucked up the worst? I did this, but you did that, and then I did this, but you did that, and then forgive her this, but I do that, and then it's always like you're yeah, trying to balance you. this shit out, mm-hmm. and. You instead, if you just took all that time, right, that you that you think about your girl and what she's doing wrong, if you really just sat down and thought about one hundred percent of the time of what you're doing wrong, mm-hmm. you'll realize a lot of things. Like I'm saying, I'm not saying that you're still gonna be like one day, like, oh, I was the problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, that yeah. you're gonna be like, damn, I was, I should have did better or anything like that, right? But you're definitely going to realize things about yourself that you can, it's impossible for you to see right now. Mm-hmm. You could never see it when you're under that blanket of what's going on right there because you literally can't be honest with yourself. That's the truth, bro. You can't. Matter whatever it is, mm-hmm. good or bad, I don't care. It could be a good thing. If it keeps love going, you know, and it makes it work, I don't care. Look at it however you want. But there's no way to be honest with yourself when you're in that blanket. And the longer that it goes, the bigger that the blanket gets. The moment that the blanket's pulled off, you're just there naked. You're looking around, mm-hmm. and you're like, fuck. Like, 
You know, I told you before, a lot of times people just fell into this. You didn't choose it. Now you're choosing it. You're going out and you're trying to choose it. And for your whole last decade of your life, you never thought about what you wanted. And now you're trying to think about what you want to choose. And then you're on top of that. You're thinking about like, well, I'm susceptible to someone taking advantage of me. Right. Now you're just super, mm, 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 you know, everything feels so soulless. And you're hoping, we talked about before, that moment of Romeo and Juliet. The love story. where like Everything you've been taught. Eye contact. Man. Sparks fly, right? It just it was great that night. You're hoping that that comes. Yeah. We don't know. You yeah. could be pushing yeah. it away. God could be handing you layups. And yeah. you're just yeah. like, mm, and this is soulless. And personally, I'm speaking for myself. You know, I'm like, this is soulless. And somebody's like, here's somebody you could be in love with. Here's someone you could be in love with. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know. Or it could just be me trying to fill that gap. I'm putting myself in the spot to try to fill these gaps. And yeah. if I want to, they're filled. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you know, I mean, the 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 mind, you know, when you're – everything, everything, you know, revolves around like that, like kind of like that, that framework that you, you are thinking from to begin with. So, you know, I think people will say framework a lot, you know, I mean, this is, may not be what they say or why they say it, but when I, I think they say that, that a lot because when you're starting within a box, you know, well, it's pretty hard to think outside that box. You're working within a box. Thinking about what's outside a box, well, you're, you got a current, you got a current array of things, you know, from from there, you know, just like you say with the blanket, you know, with the blanket, like the you know, the, the bit longer you go, the bigger it gets, you know. Um, I mean, do you, what, like, do you think? Because obviously, it plays a huge role in like just like your relationship going forward, you know. But like, do you think like at every, any one given moment? Because I mean, like, that, that's the that's the one like the the beauties of this whole thing, you know, is like you really. You kind of just don't know what the fuck any of this shit is, which is why, like, you know, when we describe things and when we talk about things and when people are able to put it in, like, a poetic, romantic sense, I mean, that that could definitely skew how we view a lot of these relationships. It can skew how you feel about, um, you know, because you have preconceived notions of how things are supposed to go. You 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 have this idea, you have this framework, you have this this path that people. It's like a flow chart of like, okay, well, this is how a relationship is built. This is how it is, and you just kind of try and go and follow this flow chart. Like you said, as you continue to grow and mature as a person, well, the person you weren't a decade ago is not the person you are today, or it will be in the foreseeable future. Or in the foreseeable how many future, people like it, conceive that though. You so. Know, like, like you get that right that like if you were to meet someone new, they could be different in two years. The person you know now that you're with could be different in two years. Mm -hmm. You get that. Yeah. It seems so easy to get. Yeah. But it seems yeah. like not everyone that you get involved with is gonna understand that like you're a revolving door. You're gonna grow, even though you agree that yeah. you're willing to accept that about yeah. someone else. It doesn't mean that someone else is gonna be like, you know, well I accept you for all this because you're growing. Mm -hmm. People that do that are somebody that's with you for a long time, yeah. and that blanket's big, yeah. and they go, man, I've seen you do so much good things. You can fuck up, and mm -hmm. I still love you, Yeah, but yeah. you can't meet someone though. as a grown – you're with grown women now, bro. You're not with little women. You're with grown women. You're with grown you – know, you're a grown man. Everybody knows what they want now. <laughs> it's a lot more specific. It's not people just falling into things. Oh it's yeah, like no. a lot more chosen. Yeah, you're you're well, man enough to go a different way. You're man enough yeah. to go that way. And people, are, it's like people are getting to, I guess, a stage where, like, I guess they want to settle down. They want to have a partner. I mean, like, that's still at play. Like, you know, I mean, that, I mean, that that's the thing. Like, you know, I don't. When we talked about it, we talked about offcast before, but I remember we were talking about it, like, you know, like you don't. You also, in a sense, don't want to have your whole life hinge on that p potential outcome. Cause I mean, I guess I guess people probably aren't ready to be alone. I know people don't want to be alone, but you know, like that. But that's what we do. That, that when you that, attach yourself to yeah. someone for a decade. Yeah. I mean, you plan on investing another decade. Yeah. You yeah. Don't, you're never gonna give it ten yeah. years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I don't think people are really yeah. really like ready for a possible outcome of where they want to be alone or where they might be alone. But, but the know? truth is, Steve, what do you see? Like most of these people. They do oh, yeah. not last 20 years, bro. 
You and know? I'm speaking yeah, from yeah. self experience. I'm right there with everybody else. Like it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's just, it's very rare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. We're, it's all about how much you're willing to lie. Like I keep saying, like. Dude, you can. Li- if I was willing to lie to myself, we couldn't even have a podcast, bro. I would have nothing to talk about. It would be so easy to just be like, you know? But it's, if that's not how it is, then there's a lot more truths that come to it. Like, okay, I go out to a bar. I meet this girl in 30 minutes. She wants to leave. I'm some grown ass man, bro. Like, I know that this girl for everybody, you know? Like, I know that. This isn't like some love thing. This isn't how things work out, right? Like this isn't. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This isn't yeah, even yeah. a. Re- First of all, this isn't even a respectable how'd you meet story, right? Mm-hmm. Do you really want to be like, yeah, it came in right away, Psh, left with me, <laughs> <laughs> never split up? It doesn't even sound right. Yeah, you no, know no, it. no, you yeah. know shit ain't right there. That's what I'm saying when I feel soulless. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. well, we could lie and just like get it, get what it is tonight. Just feel it, just feel that Have feeling. Fun. Yeah. It'll be fine. But we know we're both going to go tomorrow. Like, what? Why? Why? And not even say you regret it. Sex could be good. You know what I mean? Like, you had fun. Could be nice. You had fun, whatever. But you know, like, this is not how it's supposed to start. This is not how it's supposed to go. Yeah, no. No. How no. many times does it start like this? I told you before. How many of these do? This, how many times do these couples have sex the first time they're drinking? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think. I think it's high. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably, it probably most is. People that get together the first time they get involved intimate, there's alcohol involved or some drug. However you want to find it, but mainly I think alcohol. Yeah. It always seems to be the one that's like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a couple of drinks. And I mean, I'm what I'm saying is, girl don't even gotta be drunk. Guy don't even be gotta be drunk. You just need to have like one drink, and then it's like we both drank, you know? Like, and now it happens. Literally, that's how it works. I mean, without I, without it, bro, I'm telling you, it just it's almost like the normal way and the right way that you see building something is unnatural because mm-hmm. it's so much of. Oh, I just met you here, and it's going good. So, I, I just, I, I just, I, I think there should be a lot more choosing. I guess is what I'm saying. A lot more of deciding. I think I was watching like Ariana Grande yesterday. We had to bring her up, but she was saying like <laughs> she was saying something similar to that. You know, like, uh, just knowing your worth, basically. I mean, I guess everybody's ever said that. I hate to give Grande <laughs> credit, <laughs> you know, but. The, so like she no, put it like a, basically, yeah, like knowing who you are, right, and how how much you bring to the table, and just not really accepting less. Where when you're younger, you're just a lot less willing to like be that person. For me, yeah, at least, like, yeah, and and like be willing and open to explore. You know, be willing to open to those ideas that come to your head. You know, I think. I don't know about you, but there, there's things that come to your head. You're like, yeah, like you know, whether it be impulsive or not. You know, like oh. That, that speaks to you for some reason. You want to do that for some reason. And then you may just talk yourself out of it or, you know, whatever the idea may be. Like, be more, I guess, willing, open, like, to, like, I guess, explore, the you know, oneself. You know I mean? What what do you really like? Because I don't, I don't think a lot of people put time into really thinking about what they like. I think there's a lot of people out here who just, you know, they had, they, 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 their art spoke to them. They they took drawing at a young age. They spoke to them. But I think there's a lot of people out here just like, I just I just never did any of that. I never went and you know did mm-hmm. drawings. I didn't I didn't I didn't think about what it meant to be who I am. I didn't think about what it meant to be like the, a human. The you know, thing about, about that, right, right. And I was thinking about a similar thing of being like, w- what's worse than 28 and heartbroken? 29 and heartbroken. What's worse than 25 and never put his art out? 26 and never put his art mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's like you – should you even be mad if something doesn't work out? How mad would you be if you was 52 and your wife divorced you you met when you was 20? It's a lot worse than when you were 42. And the guy at 42 was saying the same thing. 22, you know what I mean? Like going all the way down. Yeah, yeah. So – at the same time, I don't know, it's kind of like you're like, okay, well, 
if it wasn't going to work out, you want it to end as early as possible. I guess that's There's another time. thing I was time's on about, your right? side. Do, do you agree with that, though? Because I, I feel like that is how I feel, right? Because people say, you know, I was talking talking to my sister, and she's like, well, don't regret that time because you were going to spend it no matter what. And I was like, well, for me, I was trying to do something that was lifelong. Man. So if it wasn't going to work out, I wish it would have happened in the shortest amount of time. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's uh, that's, I think that's one of those like almost like a like a platitude, like it's almost just like a like a positive cliche, like because you you can definitely regret those things, you know. And once you, I think there's right. once you have that one thing that you really regret. You're probably a lot more cautious about having any more regrets. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need a smack in your face. Can't just keep having regret. 10 year regrets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you only yeah. got but so many 10 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? And, you know, I mean, like, that's you. That's the other thing. That, like, you know, you will definitely have regrets and regret things. And that's that's okay, too. Like, I think regret kind of like, I think people take it as like you harp on things and you're just thinking about that all the time. But. I think I think we all regret things. It's like a fuck we're up. All, it's like all, you're not you're sad gonna, about the time spent, but you're like, man, I did fuck up. Yeah, I, I wish I, wish I would have done it differently. Well, what's wrong with that? You know, it's like okay, well, I, I've accepted what this is, but like, I mean, I wish I would have done it differently. You know, I think about it like, what, like, what? Yeah, that's okay. You know, like, but if you're sitting here, you're just like, you let that make you bitter your whole life. You're just like, God, I wish I would have fucking. God damn it! I knew that. God shit! I know it. Like, it's like, but like, <laughs> like the, how people say, like the one that got away. Right or like oh like when you add, when you talk to people that did break up after a long time right mm-hmm. whatever it is three years four years every time you talk to them they didn't like have a have a thing that day that yeah. broke them up right like even people cheat shit might last three months after that while they're trying to fix it or something like yeah. it's always like you're talking to somebody that's like yeah I was married for twelve years but it was dead after eight. Yeah. And just keep it going. I think I think a lot of it also gets muddied up because you have now you have now have relationship roles where like, okay, well like hey, we're living there, we're like it's been one year, well now we gotta put bills into the mix. Now we gotta add these chores into the mix. Now we gotta add okay. you know, we gotta add all these other things well, into the mix. Into so we were talking about earlier when you're like, Yeah, you know, you were free playing the game. So we well, it's just funny how like how you just fall out of love with a game like that. And when you think about you're playing that game, right? Well, why are you putting the game on? Because of the alternative is what? Watch a show? Like sit here and watch a show on TV or I'd be on my phone? So it's like this is the best option. But when the option isn't, oh, well, if I don't do this, I have to do this. It doesn't. It's not as likely for you to do it, I feel like. Yeah. You're way more likely to do other things, bro. But I can't be like, okay, I'm not going to play the game. I'm going to draw. Don't talk to me. You literally can't say that. Like, you, it's like, you, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, but I can put on a headset and be like, I'm playing the game. Yeah, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. I can't literally, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm, I can't hear you talking. <laughs> See, so, like, I, like, I, I you, always had trouble. I told you about that before. Like, you know, in this, hate to keep harping on like this i hate giving this bitch this much play <laughs> for real bro but i tried to explain like especially towards the end of like this is what i do right okay so i like doing this this is one of my hobbies i i isolate myself when i do this this is how i do it this is how i like to do it it's it feels good to me i like it yeah. and i'm not sad yeah. like i want to do this i might be gone for hours I could like I could be gone for hours and yeah. be right next to you. Mm-hmm. I could be within an arm's reach and be hours away from you. And, and like it was impossible for her to accept. So it can never understand of like okay when I go to do this I want to be alone. I don't want to be interfered with. Like this is my own little thing and. You're constantly interfering with it, yep. and you're constantly and, telling me not to do it to the point where I'm literally backed up into a corner of the house t- saying, please don't interfere when I do this. And you still want to proceed to be mad at me. Yeah. 
You yeah. know, you're like, you're like, well, you know, you're why are you upstairs? You don't even come down here. And what I'm telling you, like, why can you go get an hour therapy session on your computer, but I'm not allowed to go have two hours of my therapy session? Right, and I shouldn't even have to define what that is. But like you know, it's like I'm writing, I'm drawing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like to go into this cave of like, this is what I do. This feels good to me. This is freeing to me. Yeah. And you're trying to be like, don't do that. You can't do that. And now you know, being who I am, I don't know if you feel the way, same way, but like I'm spiteful when somebody tells me not to do something, especially when I tell you not to do things, you don't do it, and then you want to tell me like, why you got to do that for two hours? And you're just about there for one. It's like it doesn't work like that. Yeah, you, you know, and I you, can't believe you would say these things. You've, uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's boundaries. You know, it's it's that line. It's you know, it's like you you have your, you, know, you you've you've given up your boundaries before. You have those clear defined ones now. You know, you know, and it's a, uh, it's not, it's no one's fault. You know, like that. You know, one picture party isn't okay with that. You know, th- that just means things don't probably usually won't work out. You know, like mm-hmm. that's 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 one thing I've realized. Like with with like, with like when you think about things like that, when you think about boundaries, like you know, like it's it's okay for them to not be okay with it. That just means that this won't work, and that's like a, kind of like a reality of like that type of thing. You know, like if you if if they're not gonna respect that, that's gonna tee you off. It's just right, but like it's almost synonymous how intertwined couples are. Like, oh, yeah. you don't oh, know yeah. really any guys that are allowed to just go off and do their own thing. Yeah, yeah. Every single thing ends up involving, and that's, oh, my girl's got to go. Oh, my oh my boyfriend's got to go. Whatever new, it is, over and over. But your new, your new relationship would, if you ever, you know, if you get into one, you would have that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you know these people don't have hobbies. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, bro. I'm telling you. People do not have hobbies. I say it all the time. People don't have hobbies. Mm-hmm. So... Everything comes intertwined with doing it together so that you can carry them into other things. And then, like, their hobbies might be negatives in your mind, where your hobbies are positives in their mind. So now it's really unfair where every time, you know, they come with you, they get a plus. They experience a good thing. Every time you go with them, you experience a bad thing. And you're just so off base. You know? so that, I think that's like the main important thing is hobbies you both enjoy and also hobbies that you enjoy one another that mm-hmm. you can yeah. separate. But most of the time, how many times are people are guys going to do something without their girl? It's like literally no one you know, for nothing. <laughs> most shit, both, both are common. The boyfriend and the <laughs> girlfriend is common. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, hundred percent. You know, like that's it's a package deal. You know, it's, it, that, that's where like the 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 lines between me and we get blurred. You know, and that, that that's that's the thing though. Like you know, it's it's really it's really just up to us to define that. Like you know, and, that, and that's this is the thing that I think most people will probably have trouble with. Me, maybe you. I think a lot of people. You know, when you when you are defining those boundaries, and then you like a person, and they're not like they're invading those boundaries you're not okay with that but you like that person you don't want them to go nowhere you know like that's that's Dangerous. some that's some that's some rocket fuel that's some crazy that's some fucked shit that just that whole that like interchange of a relationship. yeah that whole exchange <laughs> there like tweaking yourself to something you don't want to be and then you agree and to go around you don't want to yes yes <laughs> so then like when you think about the alternative you well, now you have those solid, solid boundaries. Even if you like this person, like, it's like it's okay for them to not be okay with how you want to have a relationship, and for you to part ways. And I mean, like the pain that and hurt that comes with that—it's a whole other, you know, kind of story from that. How you feel about but, things from not being, able to, you know, like that's. That's all a joke, bro. Huh? It's just all a joke. Hey, really? Like, I hate to be cynical about it, but like, even you're know, like the guy that's. Will be like, uh, oh, um, like my wife saved me, like um, you know, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I love her; she did everything for me. Like you want to cheat if Rihanna threw them cheeks up on you, or so, you know, like, <laughs> uh, and, like example, but like yeah. if, if some if you wouldn't cheat mm-hmm. if somebody caught you at the right time with mm-hmm. the right what? Who are you? Who are you lying to, bro? You lying to me? 
You like a complete stranger? <laughs> yeah, she's like, whatever you say, dog. Whatever you say. Yeah, I know. And, and you lying to yourself. It, I'm not saying nobody doesn't feel like that. Mm -hmm. If you, like, there was times where I felt like that. I'm like, I love you so much, I would never do this. But you know when that love ain't there. You're way more willing, bro, to mm -hmm. be like, yeah. shit, right time, right place, yeah. right person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. If you do, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's you know? what I got. Yeah, and if it's not, if it's not built on that steady foundation, if it's not, you know, if it's not really someone you're interested in, it's probably a sign. And, and how, it's weird how it's like easier for people, men, women too. To it's easier for them to end the relationship through fucking with someone else than coming to a person and being like, "This is the end." It's literally easier for them to like just go for it, get caught, and then it just happens. Mm -hmm. And once you're together that long, you know, like, you know, you did. Everybody's fearing that talk. You don't want to have that specific talk, so it's like you just do something that you know will end it. Yeah, yeah, and then, I mean that's where I get confused because like there's like people that like their relationships. They do this constantly to each other, and then but like they're still together. Like I guess it's just like, well, what's that? Because <laughs> yeah, I've I know one girl. I swear to God, Steve. Like I really, I'm not joking, bro. Like they've gotten back together over 20 times. Like it's got it like right around 20 plus that I've seen. Like, yeah. I'm talking about like official post I'm done or like something about being single mm -hmm. and then posting again about being taken over 20 times like it's crazy bro like he beat me up he cheated she cheated she beat me up she got me locked up he got me locked up like, I've heard it all and it, this cycle this, 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 this intertwined true love, dance true love. I mean, but who are we to say I don't know yeah, and that's that's like the one of the things that becomes like that's what makes relationships and even like when you're talking with people so dicey because like we're all up inside our own goddamn heads, bro. We're all up inside running the fucking mileage up on this brain of ours, just thinking about things and how that person might see this thing and Are we all? That's how I'm going. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What we yeah, keep talking yeah. about like are we all? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I guess I don't I, know. I guess bro. you might find some comfort in thinking other people well, are just like well, I told you, like I think there's, <laughs> I think there's two groups there, right? You could say I don't want to say we're smarter than anyone or whatever we are, but like you would like to say free thinkers, right? Would be this group. And then you've got idiots. Like it's, there's no other way to put it. This is the simplest way to put it. Like literally, it's not there. It's not there in their head to be able to put this together or ever hear someone tell them how it's put together. And then you've got deniers. And people just like, whatever. You know, whatever's going on. So when I'm saying which, like, which is a subcategory of idiots. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, exactly. So what I'm saying, like, are we? I'm like, I don't know. I think there's, I think yeah, there I is mean, people that are similar that are thinking about this shit all the time. But I think there's a lot more people that are deniers. And then there's a small percentage that are probably just idiots. I just like they just don't even want to process or never will. And there's people that and deniers. See, deniers also involves like people that are already successful in this. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. gonna deny it. Yeah. Why would they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's where we I, have I don't seen. Know if everybody's where, free, I don't know if everybody's thinking like uh, that. Oh man, bro. you're you're right. I mean, yeah, maybe I find some comfort in thinking that way, but you know, it's just it's just how you think. I guess a brain would work, and then you go and you talk to somebody. Like I feel a lot of times, I'm not sure how my brain handles relationships or how it talks to people or how it chooses or you know decides that this person is important you want to keep them around keep talking to them or what i don't know i don't know how it kind of filters this criteria but you know, a lot of times you know there's this a, a feeling i have about people and a feeling towards people and a feeling there of like when i talk to them and how they talk to me of like what this okay. is and what this might be and i'm just like I, I, I don't know. I, so let me try. Let me try to explain that. What I think that is, right? I was, I was thinking of something around this area. I think what you're talking about there, right? when you talk about these people, for me personally, the way I was seeing it is, it's not even anything else, but then what I am willing to forgive a person doing, right? So when I meet someone. 
I don't require nothing of you. Mm-hmm. I think about like what you could do to make me not fuck with you no more. <laughs> that's our thing. <laughs> and everything that you don't do that's that is a plus. <laughs> So I'm like, you know about cars, or you got a bike, or or you got some land, or whatever it is. Like that's all plus territory. Long as you don't go to this other route that I can't forgive you no more. Now, I think a lot of people when they meet people, they expect things. I, I don't want to keep beating karma with that horse, but people think like, I get your kid for something for Christmas, get my kid something for Christmas. Uh, and that's how it goes. I try to leave these expectations off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And obviously no one's perfect. Nope. <laughs> I hate to have to keep clearing it out. Like, you got, <laughs> like you gotta clear They'll it clip out. you to death. They'll yeah, quote you to like, death. Like, <laughs> he thinks he's perfect. He's got all the ideas. <laughs> you know, I, I think, I think we, they expect something in return a lot of times. And I'm just trying to think about you know what? As long as you don't do these things, I'll find the good in you. I'll keep finding the good in you, or I'll try to find good in you. Oh yeah. As long as yeah. you don't fuck this up. Uh huh. Yeah. And there's like people, people make me feel types of ways. You know, like oh, Steve's in his feelings. He's feeling some type of ways. <laughs> but like when when people when you talk to people and when they talk to you and when you interact with them and when you talk about things and you know, I mean you. At least you, you hope that you feel like this person's out to get something. This person feels like they have true intentions. And, I mean, like, I'm not so quick just to be like, okay, it seems like it's pure, but I'm still going to find out. You know, like, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's like, why I would ask you, like, so tying into what I said, like, what are you willing to forgive somebody for? Like, what do you mean? Like, what am I willing to forgive? Like, the absolute... Like, like, like worst, I would, for, like, you know what I'm saying? Are you, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say I know everything about your story, but I would say for like example, are, 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 are you comfortable forgiving your mother for what she did to you? Hmm. I would say, I would say no. I would say no. But I mean, that's not to say that's something like. Terrible happened to me, but the I feel like the intimacy of the relationship wasn't there. You know, it didn't have enough impact on me for where I'm like, I would forgive. You know, there's something to be forgiven. You know, mm-hmm. I think that like there's a there's a certain amount of like, like there has to be some sort of thing to be there for me to even say forgiveness is an option. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you would have to have burned a bridge and then try to rebuild it. That's yeah, where you can so, get for you. Know? So let me ask you. I mean, but that's yeah, I, love this, I love this podcast. I love when we can talk like this because it makes me ask you questions I never asked you. What do you think? Because I know a lot about you, but mm-hmm. what do you think that is like the is is the worst wrong ever done to you? Oh man, that's a tough one. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, yeah let me think. I'm gonna have to think. Um, I mean, I remember one one in particular that really. Your yeah. mom's got to be top five, right? Um, I mean, I don't har- that, like. So like, I'm thinking personally, I don't harp over those feelings, right? Yeah. But but it still hurt, right? Like it's still it's, it's your tough parents for, did tough, that to you. It's tough for me to say because I had I had someone step in from the moment. True. You know, True. so like I did have, if not my biological, I did have someone of you know maternal. Mm-hmm. You know, I did have a, a, I did have a mother okay, in my so, life. I would so say if, that, if that's automatically excluded, you know, so uh, what comes to your mom? Automatically excluded. So that's the thing. So look, the one thing I go to like with like you know the flip side of my uh, father and like the circumstances of my birth, you know, the, from what I'm understanding it, you know, like I was a big whoops baby. You know, I was a big like they, like my dad and my mom they were never supposed to have a damn kid. Probably even have an affair, some type of shit. Yeah, I don't know how deep that really goes, you know. Um, but like that's like that's the type of thing you know like and like the other circumstances I think of like the consequences that have been handed out to me is like stuff like um, like I was born under the influence of drugs like I was born you know from like I, I, I'm not sure I believe I was born addicted to heroin that type of deal right I don't I, I, that's the type of thing that I think about but like, like you know, doesn't don't both of them tie into your mom yeah but like like 
the that when your mom had you on heroin. Your mom did that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's you know, like the, oh yeah. There's no forgiveness there. You know, like no, hundred percent no forgiveness there. You know, but like right. it's just there's to me like again. So like, it's like she, those examples she was, of what your mom did though. But it oh, does yeah, yeah, stem yeah. from what oh, your yeah, mom did. Yeah, and I think and I think about what type of effect that could possibly yeah, have what, on any, any single think, aspect of my life. You think about like any. Yeah, those are tough, right? Because you never know, like, know what a heroin addiction zero how changed who you are. In, I think about womb, that too. In a womb, born out of zero clue. Uh, so with if the, I asked you, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So like, the, so like, uh, I think on the flip side with like you know like someone like my father, like I don't know. I guess like it is. I guess I mean, I'm kind of like okay. Well, why, uh, why, why be born in these circumstances? Why, why do all this reckless ass shit and like. You know, like, and I mean, my grandmother ended up raising all three of my mom's kids, you know, that's mm-hmm. the type of things where, like, I feel like ultimately, like, there was nothing that has an impact or, or like, in my conscious mind for me to be upset about something, you know, like, I don't feel directly impacted by the circumstances of my birth. I feel like it's affected other people, and I don't feel as though, like, for me, that, like, there's anything out there that's, like, hanging over my head that, like, hurts inside, you know what I'm saying? Like the way I feel about things, the way I think about how things went down, I know about the things that happened to my siblings because they were their older right. siblings. Because you turned out yeah. okay, you were safe. Yep, you were yeah, protected. yeah. I had, I had so a, you feel, you I had a, feel as yeah. And I feel, I feel as though I, I had a very normal childhood, mm-hmm. very, very normal. I would say, I would say normal as in like I, as far as I can remember, I don't have any particular childhood traumas. Um, I mean, I did, I did. I did receive spankings as a child, but did I receive them in a sense where I was like, man, I was abused as a child? Fuck no. Right. You know? Um, yeah, you and, didn't really have family around to have, like, those type of stories. Yeah. yeah and, to have, like, oh, my uncle got did this or my aunt did this. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, and, like, we, and we were, like, poor, but, you know, we did we did okay. We were fine. Like, yeah. I, I did had everything. You know, there was nothing. You? Yeah, you know. And, you kind of were just affected directly at birth, right? Yeah, you, yeah. Well, and you were so, born addicted. Yeah. You didn't so, have your mom. You didn't have your dad. When, but for the most part, you were born into, like, good circumstances. And emotional things I think about. So, like, one of the things I think about that were evil. So, like, when I was, like, 12, you know, we, were, we used to hang around. In Greek town, we used to hang around this girl. Um, I mean, she was really pretty. Everyone really liked her, you know. And I remember, you know, the people I was hanging out with, you know, they, they hung out with this girl, too. And I remember, like, one day, we were, like, we were sitting there, um, you know, and she was talking about a story about, like, where someone, like, you know, slapped her. And then she, like, hauls off and, like, slaps me. And she was like, yeah, it was kind of like that. And I'm sitting there. I'm just like, what the – I was just like, that, that really hurt. That was really something of, like, why was I – like, the exertion of, like, this physical, like, thing like that. You know what she I'm saying? She slapped you hard slapped the shit. Slapped the fuck out of me, you know? <laughs> slapped the fuck out of me. Wow. I was just being in shock. Everyone else was in shock. I'm sitting there like, yeah, I just go home. You know, I'm just like, that was probably like, – I was like, that's an evil thing, you know? Do I forget that person? No. No, because it was a simple – it's to me, in my mind, it was like an act of just, like – Simple showboater like type of thing, you know. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna ask you outside of your parents. Yeah, That's a good yeah, one outside yeah. of your parents. That one, that so, one hurt uh, a lot. Just rolling with the questions. Do, do can you think of like a comparison where you might have done that type of thing to someone else, like someone that would that, like to that level that would make someone else feel like that? You ever done something like that? Um, I think I think in middle school, I think you know, like I think there was like because uh, I was picked on in middle school. And I, I mean, I I definitely did some bullying, you know, to pick on someone else, you know, to try to, I guess, you know, feel some type of way or like join in on like whatever else the group was doing or, or the case may be. So like, yeah, definitely like exerted something else onto someone else from, I guess, a past experience. Yeah, I think so. So to equal value in your mind? Um, no. No. You think about like Ron? Is that what you're thinking about? I think like Ron, like yeah, Tyler. Ron. Yeah, like Ron, Tyler, and them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ever, yeah. yeah, like I never went out my way to do anything, but like if there was like if we were, if I mean, ganging what if up, I was like, hey, ever you know? did to him. Well, it was maybe it hit him with like that wet paper, wet paper rag. And yeah, yeah, I never did right. anything like, I'm too not crazy. Proud of that. I never did anything too crazy, but like I did join in. I never, I would hurt, join I in. I never hurt him physically. I would make fun of him. You know, I would join in on it. You know, like I was. Yeah, you're trying. You're part of the group. You know, yeah, hundred percent. And I mean, you're willing to be forgiven for that. So that it's you know, it's tough that like you. You envision you can't forgive that kid that did that to you. Not saying yeah. you got to or you're wrong. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying it's funny. It's just, yeah, 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 100%. You know? yeah. And 100%. that would bother me too, Dad. The way yeah, you said 100%, that, you know? I could tell why that stuck with you. Yeah, it just it was just a, like a, almost like an insanely random act of just uh, like just 
show went off or something, try to look cool. I, I, I I'll tell know. you one that really stuck with me that's similar to that. Well, I feel like I know a similar feeling. I didn't get as physically harmed, but same thing. So random, right? I'm walking, I'm walking around, skipping to classes with uh, this kid, Alexis. And as we walk by, he tells this boy to come out. And it's uh, Kareem in middle school. Mm-hmm. And I remember as soon as he comes out, he just looks at me. I've never even talked to him before. He's like, <laughs> and spits on my shirt, bro. <laughs> and I'm just like, like, you said in shock. You're just like, why would this person disrespect me? And why me? <laughs> There's all these people here. And I was trying to process what's going on. I remember this kid says, you should fuck him up in front of him. Right, so now it's like a real – and better be God, karma, whatever you want to say, bro. Uh, this girl walked by and was like, hey, Michael, they're, they're looking for you at the office. Uh, your sister's here to pick you up. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> that uh-huh. completely yep. saved me so much, bro. <laughs> so, so another one I think about, this one was more of like I was just – I just happened to be, you know, like – I saw the times he got bitched. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. No, this this one in particular, you know, you know, this one sticks with me because like, I just I just happened to be like part of like some like random like act of like violence. Like so, like so, I went to um, I was coming. I was this was my first year in high school. I walk into the bus stop down downtown on like Fayette Street, kind of like right outside Douglas. And I'm walking to the I'm walking up. I just departed from some of my friends from school. So I literally just started walking up to the bus stop that I always walked to for that, that two weeks I was there. You know, and you know, I'm I'm walking up, and then like next thing I know, I just get hit from behind, and right after that, I'm next thing I know, I'm just getting banked. You know, I'm just like, oh, I just I get rocked, I turn around, and then I just got fucking just get banked. You know, so like I I I didn't ever knock me down. They just they beat me up. I'm I'm lumped up on my head. You know where they snuck me, and you know, I'm just like, what the fuck? There's a crossing guard just like you know trying to get him off me. Then like. You know, they're just like, oh, are you okay? You know, what's wrong? And then, like, this kid comes up to me. And he's just like, he's like, what size those shoes are? And I'm just like, and I'm like, don't worry. Like, no, don't worry about it. No. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. I'm just, like, I'm just all lumped up. I'm just like, no. Because I know, I know. I'm just like that middle school. You don't answer that. I'm just like, no, don't worry about it. Of course. And he literally says, I need you to get, take them up like, off, your, uh, off your feet. At this very same moment that this kid asked me for my shoes, this random guy comes over. He's just like, hey. Come on with me, bro. It's like this old random, like I guess maybe older, twenty-five, thirty guy, year old guy. You know, he takes me over to this car. You know, he's like, hey, come on, come on, hop in. I'll give you a ride home. I get in with his. Uh, and at this point, I'm like, you know, what I'm saying, I'm like desperate. I'm just like, I'm saved. You know, I get in this car. I get in the back. They're talking to me. They're like, yeah, we drove by. We saw what happened. We pulled it out. Some fucked up shit. Why they do that to you? And we're just, I'm just like, I don't know. I have no idea. They're like, are you okay? I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. They're like, where do you live? I'm just like, yeah, I live over there, you know, by John Rura. You know, by baby, they're like, all right, now we're going to drop you off, you know, and they, they take me, they drop me off the top of the street on baby on Eastern, and, you know, they're just like, yeah, we're really sorry that happened to you, I, we, I was fucked up, you know, just, we, we hope you're okay, and, you know, just you know, just be careful, and, you know, they pull off, I'm just like, like, what the fuck, man, like, that was like, man, they fucking, order. fucking just saved me right there, man, and just like, I mean, the, the worst <laughs> of it, yeah. Bro, I'm so sorry, seriously, mm-hmm. for a second, I'm really sorry that happened to you. The way that you just described that, it really made me feel sad. I was really trying yeah. to put myself in your shoes, and then I'm thinking, like, these motherfuckers just banked you. Yeah. You're lumped up. You don't even know what's going on. It's yeah. another guy approaches you about kicking your shoes off. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had some fucked up situations. I'm getting yeah. fucked up, but, yeah. like, the sequence of events that played out, that just, I'm so glad that person interfered because chances were you were going to have to kick your shoes off, bro. Like you're already like concussed, clipped up. Like I'm good. I wouldn't. I like. I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you're a bitch for kicking your shoes off at that point. Like you can't. There's no way you could fight. You're already lumped. Like these motherfuckers got shots in you and shit. There's like, literally like thirty other kids from like another school, like all on that four, same bus stop. Right? You know. I'm just like, like God. You know. Like, oh, that boy got back when we took his shoes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like God damn, bro. I was just, I was just damn. so thankful. I'm just sitting there. I remember like my grandma asked me what happened. I was just like. I was like, because I, I really only had like that one lump like on my head. Like once I looked in the mirror, I was like, I had like one fat ass lump right here. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, we played flag football in school. And I just, just collided. It just it hit my head. And she's like, oh, they're supposed to call me. They're supposed to call me. I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm I'm good. You know, I'm just like, I'm good. You know, I'm alright. You know, because like, I'm just like, well, what's 
I mean, of course, you probably try to blood up abortion. You probably call the school. The school sure. really couldn't do. What are they gonna do about it? You know, like put a cop on that that bus stop. Like it's just, I don't know, man. I'm just like I'm just gonna change my route. You know, I'm gonna catch the bus to different areas and and walk with other people. You know, and just just call it <laughs> you a day ever from see there. Those kids again? No, no. Um, because I they, we all took the same bus. Like I remember, like I started taking the bus a little bit earlier to try and like avoid anything. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I changed up my route. I started going to a different bus stop, and like, you know, it happened one other time. I didn't get beat, but like, I remember these two kids came out. They ran by. They grabbed my hoodie. I'm just grabbing onto it, and one guy like swings on me. So I, you know, I go to like, you know, block it real quick, and then they just run off with it. And I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna chase them down with my hoodie, you know, like whatever. So I'm just like, all right. So I leave, and it's like, man, I don't want this shit, bro. Take it, and they just walk off. I'm just like, I'm just sitting there. I'm just like, well, I mean, like, they just fuck me. Like, like I said, I was, I had long hair. You know, I was a freshman. I was ninth grade. You know, I mean, you remember ninth grade me, like the long hair. Yeah, I just they, like I, I should like I, I kind of knew. I always try to stay on guard, but like, you know, you, people, you're in this area. You, it's not your area. You're not home. You're outside. Like, it's just there's no one with yeah. me. It's just it's uh, I'm open yeah, to the elements. Home and ain't a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like, like. That's- yeah. That that I was one that like it didn't I, really like affect me, but like it really changed like how I approached just going to school. This is you know? where let's talk a let's talk a good side of karma. Let's talk that karma exists. One day maybe you see a kid same situation, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you step up. You you're way more likely now oh, yeah. to go over oh, yeah. there and yeah. be like, now you know what that did for you yeah. to help that kid. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. The other things I think about, like, I think, because I think about, I remember I asked my grandma one time, I was just like, because I, I, I don't know, I remember we were just talking, we were having a very open conversation, I asked her, I'm just like, grandma, let me ask you something, I was just like, you know, do you ever remember, like, me by chance ever happened to be, like, molested or, like, anything like that, because you never know how you might, if you're a kid, you might, might work, and she's just like, no, like, like, not that I can think of, because we're talking about, you know, we're talking about, like, within the family, like, you know, things that have happened in her lifetime to people that she's known and stuff. And I remember asking her just because, like, I was just, she's like, no, I don't think so. She mm-hmm. was just, like, I was very protective of you. I always kept you really close. Like, I never, I didn't just let you wander off with people. Like, she was just, I felt like, I just, I don't think so, you know. She's like, as far as I know, no. I'm just like, I was just like, thank God, yeah. Because she, she would tell me. God. I believe she would 100% <laughs> oh, tell me. Grandma's so yeah, much, I believe she would 100% tell your me. Grandma's girl. literally just, like, a dream role model to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is like the American dream. That's that the real American dream, not the you got to be a billionaire, you got to yeah. be yeah. famous, nothing. Just like just doing what's right. Talk about karma and like who deserves a place in heaven. It's people like your grandma, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. seriously, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really good. Yeah, yeah. she.